Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We have been doing the Honest Hearts DLC, and we have to go fight a bunch of white legs at Big Horn Bluff. So let's go do that. There's some cheap lavalier mics on Amazon. Maybe I'll, that's a business expense. Maybe I'll just get a little loft mic. If I ever end up getting three, like, full body tracking, I'm gonna need a mic that moves with me anyways. This is, how do I get here? Oh, I have to follow this other trail. Yeah, I have to, I have to follow the trail. Okay. Lamp, hello! My current budget, 300 euros for rent, 200 euros for utilities, 2,677 for eggs. <laughs> oh. oh, you're a friend dog. All right. Oh, why are you my friend now? Is it because my survival skill went up? Is it because I'm a dog too? <gasps> Hello. I love you. It's a friend. Be careful with melatonin if you wake up with a migraine or headache if you take too much. Is this like a day-to-day -day thing or like if you just take too high of a dose type of thing? I don't want to take the bridge. Wait, I'm confused. I'm going to figure this out. This is the trail I want. Right? I just have to follow. I'm going to just follow the river. I'll fight you if I must. Who are we fighting? Oh, criminy. I don't want to fight you at all. You are a stinker. I can't view this stream on the console edition of Twitch. Oh! That is not a setting that I think I... I don't know if I... I is that a setting I can control? Oh, that's sad. Um... I don't believe that is something I can control. But if anyone knows, please let me know. Because, like, that is not something I don't, I'd want to punish people for. It's possible it's just an app problem? I don't know why it's not working. I know other people have reported that problem. Ow, what the hell? God dang it, where did you come from? I don't want to feel woozy. There are varying dosage of pills, if you take too much specifically. Got it. I'll start with a low dose then. I'm sure I can find something pretty affordable online. All right, I gotta take my anti-venom or my body's gonna hurt. Ooh, I'm running low. That's not good. That is not good. Melatonin is a natural hormone that helps promote sleep. I find it great, but only take one or two to help. Yeah, I don't want to take a ton if I can help it. Thank you for the tips, y'all. I actually really appreciate that. Because I also recognize, like... Good quality sleep is super important for your health, right? Like, this is why I tell people, like, it's very sweet when people want to stay up to watch my streams, but, like, sleep is so important for you, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta be, obviously, like, if you have medical problems, like, that's not something you control, and I'm not here to shame you for that. But you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta, you gotta do what you can to, to give yourself a fighting chance. Oh. oh, hello. I want to Tinkaton. I love Tinkaton. This is one of my favorite Pokemon now. <laughs> Just dream of warm milk and biscuits. I can't eat. So here's, here's the thing. I have... My body is currently an absolute disaster. I have a lot of stomach problems. I can't eat for three hours before I want to sleep because I need to, like, spe give my stomach a lot of time to digest junk. Um, I could probably drink something, but I wouldn't be able to eat anything. You know what I mean? And I'm tired of it because it's been God, like at least six months now and it has not changed. But I don't know if it just takes time to heal. I feel bad. I'm always, I'm always freaking talking about my stupid tummy, but it's because I'm stuck living with it. <laughs> Are you a wooden chief? Kef, hello. Uh, so far I've been attacked by a bunch of bugs, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Wow. Hazi, thanks for the bits. I usually take Tylenol PM, but I think you said you're worried about it. Um, only because I don't want to be taking that like every single night to sleep. That feels a little uh, risky to me. You coddle your body, I eat the brown part of bananas. We are not the same. <laughs> 
Look, if you've got old bananas, I'm telling you, make yourself some banana bread. It will be delicious. Or muffins, muffins work too. Muffins are great because they're more travel sized and you can take them with you to like work and stuff. Am I going the right way? I'm not, I'm a mess. Hold on. I need to be going back down this trail and around. Okay, well, at least I discovered a new waypoint. I just eat the peel. Banana bread is so delicious. Listen to me now when I tell you banana bread is very easy to make. My recommendation, just grab a recipe off the internet, that's fine. But if it calls for oil, instead of using oil, use applesauce. It'll make it nice and like a little bit more cakey. It'll make it really, um, I know people hate using the word, but it'll make it moist in a good way. It'll taste good. Believe me when I tell you, it will be delicious. Excuse me, I have to reload. And now you die. Perish! Snack check. I, um, um, we ordered sandwiches. So I just have to wait for the sandwich to get delivered. And then I will have a, uh, b -b -b -b. I will have my stream snack. Where's, I can't aim at your noggin because it's already messed up. I use spit and grit, no oil. Toast. <laughs> I do like when my food is moist. Sometimes, not with chips. Yeah, it depends on the food, right? Um, but personally, I really like using applesauce in place of oil in my baking. And you can just do a one-to-one. -one. So if it's like a tablespoon of oil, you can do a tablespoon of applesauce. You have to be careful, though. Take that weapon binding. Oh, beans. Thank you. I keep forgetting that that does something. Uh, restore limb. Oh! Restore limb condition, melee damage, plus 10. Oh, nice. You know what? I'll give this to my follower. If something of mine Because I have take it. I hope stuff. Do the same for me. What was it called? I forget. But I will. There we go. Cool. Applesauce and play of oil. Place of oil. It works. I've done it and it works. I would say double check my math on this because math is not my forte. I'm pretty sure you can do a one to one. I would Google it, but that's what I've done in the past. Like, if I I've if I've done like banana bread and it's like oh use a tablespoon of oil. I've done a tablespoon of appy sauce and it's real good. What is in the water? I think those are sunsets or spirillas or maybe beers? What? What is mad? Is it just lizards? Scorpions. All right, come here. Gotta reload. Thank you. Confirmed applesauce can be subbed one-to-one. -one. Thank you. I don't want to give people the wrong info. Here's the thing. I don't want to make people accidentally waste ingredients. <laughs> so I always like, I always want to double check my work on that. I'm not like a baker, right? I'm just a dog girl on the internet. Nice. Finish him. Hello? Bam! Instructions don't clear my house is on fire. I cannot stress enough. Please don't. Actually, as a quick sidebar, don't cook and then leave your kitchen. Like, that makes me so nervous. Uh, like, if you're boiling something, don't leave the room. Obviously, for making something in, like in a pressure cooker, you're fine. Those but tents down there, that is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? No, I see rocks. White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. Any advice on how to deal with this? Called out. Sorry, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Jesse, we have to cook. I'm just saying. I understand that you have to like live your life and sometimes you have to step away for things, but I beg you, please. I've lived in college dorms and I've seen so many people burn boiling water. You can burn water. So just be careful. Clara's cooking show, what the hell's kitchen? <laughs> the farthest I'll leave my active kitchen unattended is my living room, which is right next to it. Yeah, it, de it definitely depends on what I'm making. Like, if I have something in, like, a... In, like, a, a, a crock pot, I'm not as worried. 
Um, I absolutely have just done work in my kitchen from my iPad while waiting for something to boil. Yeah, please, uh, yeah, specific, if you especially have a gas stove, please don't just leave that. <gasps> you make a cinnamon applesauce bundt cake? Oh, oh, that sounds extremely good. Oh, and then you could do like a really nice like uh, maple glaze on top. Oh man, that sounds tasty. All right, well, how do you want to deal with this situation, Waking Cloud? You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though. And these will be strong fighters. We might also use their superstition against them. White Leg Warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Hmm. So, okay, that's good to know. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, Ooh. they would likely lose the will to fight. Okay, let's go down there and take care of business. I will follow your... Yeah, no, I want to proceed with caution, too. That seems like a safe bet. Let's be smart. <laughs> You're drooling right there. Only a lot. <laughs> the only thing I bake is simple cornbread with creamed corn, which also, I'm, I love cornbread. Corn muffins? I love me some corn muffins. Oh, uh, I'm, like, actually drooling, though. This is bad. I don't actually see the tents. Oh, those are the tents. How am I supposed to grab their totems without them detecting me? Cornbread is so good. I like truly, I really do like me some cornbread now and again. I don't know where their totems are. It's a different camp over there, I guess. Well, I have a save. I might just shmurder them all, even if I do steal their totems. I don't know if my sneak is good enough. Yeah, I don't think my sneak is good enough. Let's just do some murder. You know, let's just do some murder about it. Age old technique of group together and hit them till they die. <laughs> quick, quick recipe is a boxy old cake mix, two eggs. Two cups of applesauce, layer it with cinnamon sugar. That sounds really good, though. Oh, that's a fire sword. That's not good. I'll swap to a submachine gun after this. Nice. All right, let's... Yeah, my follower's gonna go down soon, and then I'm gonna be in the danger zone. Oh, I died. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, it started blasting. I forgot about my own health. All right, let's do this a little bit smarter this time since me sneaking up on them is not gonna work. Actually, what time is it? Uh, Like two in the morning, I think. I don't think this is gonna work. All right, so then let's grab. Let's just take out some domes. Let's let's just uh denoggin some people. Caution, danger. There you are. What the heck? Thank you for the minis. After all the discussions of seep and food safety, you forgot about your own health? <laughs> I'm a big old hypocrite, aren't I? <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, you're close. Oops. Thank you. I don't want to shoot you in the face. I, 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 I don't. I. Get me out of here. How do wasn't letting me leave the menu. <laughs> yeah, but you're our hypocrite. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to make me feel better. Oh, the foliage. Come out, you coward. Come out. Come out. Thank you for the head pats. I have some purified water, I think. No, I drank it all. Okay, stim pack time. 
Glug, glug, glug. Oh, your leg. Aw, oh, beans. Come here. There we go. I got a clean shot. Metal, you're good. I uh, literally just snuck up on some goons and we're schmurdering. Oh. Right where the sun don't shine. I feel like headshots should be doing way more damage than they do. Zane, hello, how are you? Alrighty, let's see. Perfect, anti-venom is what I would love to have. I'm gonna take their totems too, just cause I don't know, why not? Can I make a, oh cool, let's do that. Nice. Look at me, I finally started crafting at level like 34. <laughs> I'm surviving, how goes the wastes? Also surviving, yeah. We're, we're trying to make our way through this. Um, we fought a bunch of dudes. Um, we got one camp, now we gotta get the other camp. Thank you for the hydrate. And look at that sky. I have to say again, for a game that's like over a decade old, some parts of it have aged really nicely. Whoa! What's the Yaokwai doing here? Oh, we got some more angry mans. Um, I think there's a Yaokwai stalking over there. I thought you started crafting that time you made 40 boxes of mac and cheese. <laughs> You're right, I am wrong, I forgot. Crafting on purpose, yeah, yeah. Intentional crafting, let's call it. Where is their camp? Up there, maybe? Where's the bear? There we go. Going on camping trip in Fallout sure is different than in real life. I mean, you still have to worry about bears in real life. They're just not full of radiation. <laughs> At least I'd hope not. Am I going the right way? Here we go. Yeah, it's not unbearable. <laughs> I've never been camping before. I really want to go camping. Did that not do nothing? Dang it. I lost my element of surprise. I took everyone's pants and mac and cheese. A very healthy way of dealing with conflict, if you ask me. Girl, why aren't you fighting? Why aren't you fighting? Why are you, why not? How are you not dead? I have shot you three times in the noggin. In the brain. I don't understand. Bulldozer man, hello. All right. Har Har Where'd you go? I can keep up this pace, monkey. You'll be fine. Rub some dirt in it. You got this. There we go. See? Are they still alive? Drugs. <laughs> lots and lots of drugs. Hooray! Quest completed. Hooray! What the hell? Oh, am I on stim addiction again? How do I check that? There we go. Oh, I'm poisoned again. Ugh. One of them must have had like a poisoned gauntlet or whatever. Yeesh. Yeah, I think they poisoned me. That's annoying. Alrighty, let's go back. Um, 
I think this is right. When salt upon wounds took New Canaan, he ordered the... Well, to go all the way up there? Okay. Um... Hand feeding bears is fun? In the wild or in controlled environments? Because I cannot endorse doing that in the wild. Like, I could understand if you're, like, in a, a like, a zoo, like, controlled educational environment. I cannot encourage anyone to approach a bear in the wild. I actually saw a TikTok about this person was, like, they were holding, like, a giant, like, you know those, like, toy rakes people use on, like, beaches and stuff? It was, like, that but a lot longer. And they were, like, scratching the chin of a bear cub and a mother bear that were on the doorstep of their home. And I was like, look, I'm not, I'm not a professional or nothing, but this cannot be safe, right? Like, there's just no way. There's, don't approach wild animals, please. I can't believe I have to say that. Where is this map marker? Crossroad Cavern? How do I get the hell there? What? I'm so confused. I, do I have to go through this cavern to get... Alright, let me just go through this cavern and see what happens. Yeah, wild animals can and will mess you up, y'all. So be careful, please. <laughs> The 22 silence pistol is garbage. I'm just holding on to it for scraps, really. I know it's not good. I I used it. Oh, this is a dead end. What the hell? I used it in the the dead money DLC, I think. Or no, I got it from the strip, and it was not good. Cause it was when those those white glove society people tried to assassinate me. Can I approach party animals? Maybe. <laughs> I don't understand how the hell to get where this is telling me to go. Wait, I, I'm just gonna wait for this person to move around. Did you move to a place that's easier to travel to? I hope so, I'm so confused. Where is this map marker? Where is this person? There you are, my God. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I checked on everything in the valley and I got you a map of Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Mm -hmm. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Oh, no going back. Whether you decide whether the sorrows should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably into motion. You'll be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion while you make your decision, so choose wisely. Hey. Uh, I... Okay, here's the thing. I don't want... I want the sorrows to just leave, right? How do I phrase this? I want to fight the white legs, but I don't want to bring these people into that fight. Does that make sense? I don't want them to be dragged into this. I don't think there's an option for that though. Oh, uh, I need to think about Even this. Uh, let's get survival up, I guess. Let's just do that. I don't think I have any other quests I can do here. Oh wait, I have um Unless you and Joshua have Oh, I was gonna say I have to give him healing powder, but I don't think I can. Uh, okay, so thank you for the follow, by the way. So I have two options. Yeah, if I side with Joshua, the the sorrows will be involved, which I don't wanna do. I don't think I want to side with Joshua. That's the thing. I'm currently thinking against it. Yeah, that's one of the times the games make it realistic. One person cannot take a whole army. I know the white legs are bad news. 
But I don't want to drag the sorrows into that fight. You know, like, they'll all die. Like, like, Waking Cloud literally said, I do not want to make my children orphans, right? Because her husband already died. And I empathize with that, right? I'd rather just get them out. I understand this is their home, too, but, like, I'd rather them just get out and live to see another day, you know? Oh, that's right, I have an unmarked quest to search the caves, thank you. Which caves haven't I searched? What caves am I missing? Did I go into the Pine Creek Tunnel? I don't remember. There's this whole area I haven't explored. Should probably do that first. I also haven't explored over here yet. Let's set a marker there. I also don't like Joshua that much. I don't like the vibes he's giving off. I don't particularly want to do what he wants to do. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I want to go this way. No, this way. Yes. All right, cool. We're going this way. Was this a boat? Ooh. Nice. Let's go over here. Right? This way? Yeah. Because I won't be able to come back here, so I should try and find everything while I have the chance. I think um, that is the one thing I prefer about more recent DLCs. For games like like Skyrim, you can go to Solstheim whenever you want. Oh, there's more of the spore carriers. I was right to come here. I was right to do this. I hate that man. I was so wrong. When I had to do this vault, I was like, I'm so glad I'll never have to deal with these ever again. I hate these so much. And now here I am dealing with them again. <laughs> God dang it. All right, let's grab. You dingus, you can't hit me from here. Not if I'm behind you. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, you can return here? Business. But like, I have to, oh. I assumed I couldn't. I thought it was going to be like dead money. Well, I uh, am a filthy liar. I'm very wrong. Can I shoot this from here? Oh, what the hell? Oh, is that a spore carrier running for me? Is that what that is? That looks like a spore carrier. Uh, I hate it so much. Sierra Madre is the only DLC you cannot return to. Oh, I thought they were all like that. Well, I'm glad I'm wrong. I can keep up this pace much yes, you can. Yes, you can. I will not leave my children orphans. See, I'm with her on that. I don't want her to feel responsible in that way. What is this? Oh. Ow! Ow! What the hell? There's another one? Get out of here. How is this thing still alive? What are they surviving off of? That they haven't just, like died already. You know what I mean? Am I out of sauce that sauce barillas? Aw, beans. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there'd you go. There we go. Yeesh. There's another enemy on the map. Oh, it's just a spore plant. I really wish that the bullets... What the hell? Oh, that's just sad. 
Is this a child? Was a child? Sorry, I was gonna say, I wish that the gun, um, the bullets left the revolver chamber so I knew how many bullets I had left. Alive is a bit of a loose term at this point. That's true. They're plants. They were people that got turned into plants. That can't be good for their, like, biology. You know what I mean? I've only brought a flamer for those plant people. I don't really like using flamers, though. There we go. <laughs> why haven't any... Why has no one told me about these creatures, by the way? Like, no one has mentioned these at all. Why not? <laughs> Surely they've run across them, right? I think it's really weird that no one was like, oh, by the way. You know? Maybe there is no cave around here. I thought there would be. They haven't? I don't think so. Like, no one has said there's giant, you know, green monsters running around. <laughs> oh, now I find turpentine. Jeez, I needed that for, like, an obscure side quest. I thought there would be a cave over here, but it doesn't look like it. I don't think I'm seeing any points of interest on my map, either. I thought for sure there'd be... something. Is that? No, it's just rocks. Probably nobody who's encountered them have survived them. That makes sense. You have to be alive to tell tales of scary things. That tragically does track. Um... I thought there'd be a point of interest here, but I don't think there is. Because my mini-map would have said something, I think. Man, I thought I was all smart. I was like, there's gonna be something over there. There's not. Um... There's almost definitely gonna be something in there, though. Let's... Follow that river. And see where it takes us. Uh, I want to go down into the river. I think. Man, I really hate that the developers were like, what if we brought those back? <laughs> Remember those horrifying spore mutants? What if we brought them back for round two? Don't love it. There's got to be a way down there. There's got to be a way down there. This is the place where I nearly murdered- Well, I actually did technically murder Follows Chalk the first time. Ah, oh, memories. Spears versus weird plant monsters seems a little one-sided as well. They also have flaming swords. So, if they have a shish kebab... That's a good point, Kaze. They also needed to reuse assets. Um, and they couldn't make, like, a ton of new enemies. So that's pretty smart. Aw, oh, man. I thought I could Skyrim horse it in reverse. I was wrong. There's probably a better lower point for me to teleport to. Yeah, we'll have to just start here and work our way south. How are the plant men scary? Because they're so aggressive. I mean, there's also, like, the body horror of them. You know what I mean? What's got you so aggressive? Why are you so mad? Oh, that's why you're so mad. We gotta help your buddy. I don't want to shoot our buddy. Here we go. Man, my shots did nothing. Aw, oh, man, I didn't save him. I'm a bad friend. Oop, oh, don't mind me. I have to heal. Nope. Heal. Please. God. <laughs> I'm on 
8 HP. Oh boy. Not very good. Ow. Stop that. There we go. Under control. Let me take some of that healing powder that I have. Cool. Here are some points of interest I haven't discovered. I know, you already told me. You already told me. I'm totally shocked that the knife wielding tribal lost to the one with the gun. Let me take that next healing powder. Cool. Let's see. Ooh. Was I poisoned again? No, I just have stimpack sickness. That's fine. I can deal with that. Eh. Something just fell off a cliff. God dang it. I think it was a Yagwai. Yeah, there's definitely points of interest I haven't discovered over here. Healing powder reduces perception. Yeah, I saw that. That's fine. It'll wear off eventually. It's a temporary debuff, right? Oh, it's a boat. Beep, beep. Do boats have horns? They have to have horns, right? Ooh. Oh, no, the water fell through the world. All right, never mind. <laughs> I didn't want it anyway, <laughs> I guess. Um, let's keep going this way. Let's keep following the river, like I said. I bet Caesar told them to salt the fields. That was a Roman tactic. You know, you know someone's a good person when they just completely destroy your environment. That's definitely the signs of someone who is a pal. Ooh, this looks good. Three Marys? We should not be here. The three Marys is where the white legs make their camp. Oh, so that's if you do the Joshua thing. I was wondering why this entire area wasn't explored. That makes sense. I haven't gone to wherever that is. We Let's go down that path. Let's, let's go this way. Where are you running? Why are you running? And she's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kurt, hello. We're gonna go this way, because I want to see what's down here. I don't think I'm gonna fight the white legs. As of right now, I don't think there's any wait, there's nothing to discover down here. Never mind. Have I discovered everything on the map? I haven't actually been to that tunnel. Let's go to Pine Creek Tunnel. I want to go in there. Does that mean you can do this yourself if you raid the camp without telling anyone? I don't think it's a good idea because it'd be a lot of people to fight. And I don't know if the game's actually programmed to recognize if you go in rogue. You know what I mean? Thought that plant was a person in- <laughs> Why everywhere I go, there's these giant ding dang bugs and I am so over it. I'm very done. I will not leave my children off. You'll make it. There we go. Little buff, just bring nukes. <laughs> there we go. Yeesh. Oh, all right. Did I get poisoned? I don't think so. No. Is there anything to discover? Yeah, there's that one point that I haven't discovered, right? Yeah, 
we're gonna follow this. See where it goes. Oh no! That sucks. I'm surprised that a wooden bridge has held up. Is this wood? It's held up pretty good. All things considered. I don't remember why I had a quest down here, but I had this as a quest location for something. I think it was for the... No, it wasn't for the Yagwai, was it? I don't remember now, so let's go figure out what the, the cave is all about. My mouse keeps going off. Oh, that sucks. I do like playing this with controller. I couldn't for a while because my, my old controller was like broken and not responding. Um... This game is a lot more comfortable to play with controller, I think. Outside of, like, inventory management. Oh, is this the way out, maybe? Oh, no. It's just fully locked. Then why is it here? Hmm. There's six of that survivalist's hideouts i'm gonna be so honest i don't feel like finding them all right now six of them i'm good <laughs> Zion, i'm set <laughs> let's do a save it's a piece, you know. unless you and joshua have any objections i'd like to start a vacuum oh you know what i should do um Daniel. you have anything Welcome else you can back. tell me Actually, do I have stuff that needs to be repaired? Let's repair my armor. Cool. You were you always with the New Canaanites? I was born in Ogden, but people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all New Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Mm. Wasn't Edward Sallow Caesar? No, not then. Back then, he was just that's Edward. Why, that's why his name was Smart familiar. Man. Young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually... I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up. Because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history. Assuming Edward hasn't changed it. How did you end up as Caesar's like it? This way lies the path to hell. Ed... Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. Mm. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. Yeesh. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. Eh. They welcomed me like I had never left. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Okay. Neil says that it is holy in the... Yeah, I don't want to fight. I'm good. I just want to go. <laughs> Unless you and Joshua have any. 
I think leaving Zion is for the best. It may be. I hope it is. To tell the truth, if something goes wrong, more sorrows could die in the escape than in Joshua's proposed attack. What? Even knowing that, it's a risk I have to take. Wait. With your help and Joshua's, even if we're attacked, we can defend the sorrows and escape. We'll be traveling at night in small groups across the valley. With luck, the White Legs won't know what's happened until the next morning. I. But if the White Legs realize what's happened, Joshua and I will need you to help us escape. Don't hold back. I promise you. The White Legs won't. Once our path is clear, I'll give you everything you need to get back to the Mojave. But the Pine Creek Tunnel must be collapsed behind us. Sorry. It's the only way to delay the White Legs' pursuit long enough for us to get a head start. Good luck. And may God be with us. Hold on. I specifically chose the retreat option because I assumed there would be less loss of life. Homeboy should have led with more how hold on how do more people die leaving than fighting what that, that how does that make sense i assumed that if you're gonna be fighting more people are at risk it'll be everyone attacked not just the warriors but i thought everyone was out already except the warriors The same way refugees always die, they get shot in the back. Eesh. I just, I'm... Daniel's not giving me the full picture. I don't like this dude. I feel like he's never giving me the right amount of information, and that's just rude. I don't like it. <laughs> this is why Daniel sucks. Hold on. Should I just go fight them then? Because... <sighs> I'm not, I'm not foolish enough to think that everyone's going to survive escaping in one piece, but like, what does Joshua say? Hold on. Unless you and Joshua have. I think Joshua's right. We should fight the white legs. <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the sorrows don't need to butcher the white legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. And you have the right to pull them off their land? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua mm. going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Hmm. Okay, so if I say let's leave, we have to fight ambushes and people will die. If I say we fight, we take the fight to them. Hmm. I don't like either of these choices. Both of these suck. And both of these have really big implications, which I don't love. Uh, I hate to say it, but the white legs do need to be dealt with. Like, which character do I like better? They both suck. I'm sorry. Both of them are... <laughs> let's. I'm going to be a little frank here. Both of them are white dudes meddling in the affairs of others to make themselves feel better and give themselves a redemption arc, which is just like a zillion degrees of icky. And I don't like it. And I don't respect them. <laughs> Like, uh, there's no, I, uh, I don't like either of them. 
the reality is, in my mind, what matters most is what is best for these actual people, right? Like, what's best for the sorrows? What's best for the, the, the horses? And it's like... I don't like the white legs because if I don't deal with them now, they're just going to be an issue later, right? They have... They're an extremely one-dimensional antagonist. All they do is raid and destroy because for some reason it's been decided that they never bothered to learn how to forage which is absurd but that's the lore so it's like yeah empowering the legion's bad and the white legs because they don't know how to forage for anything they'll have to keep roaming and ranging right yeah they could be replaced with zombies as an antagonist and no one would notice yeah, Gunsling, I'm with you. I I'm also in the uh, like I just I just want to go in and handle it myself. So the white legs know that they're leaving and they're letting them leave, but they're also and ambush them. I don't know that the white legs know that they're leaving. The white legs basically were told by Caesar's Legion, if you crush all of these other tribes and prove your strength to us we'll let you join our legion which is good because the white legs don't seemingly know how to survive on their own but there's no way the legion's actually going to work with them right like it's a horrible deal they don't know that it's a horrible deal but it's a horrible deal so the white legs don't want to leave anyone alive for very tenuous reasons i don't like Joshua, but I think I'm going to try fighting the White Legs and seeing how it goes. I have a save, you know? Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs' leader, Salt upon wounds and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the white legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. This feels, don't call it that. Oh, I hate this. See, this is, <laughs> this feels so gross. God be with you. I hate this so much. I don't like this in the slightest. Ugh, can I use a different weapon? Looks like it really wants me to use the submachine gun, but I'm gonna start with my tried and true. This does feel awful though, can I just say? Oh, let me remove my marker. That's why I was confused. Why can't I? I have to walk all the way there? Okay. What the hell? Oh, it's Tomahawk. I'm running low on ammo for my All-American. Letting me target the other guy. Oh, because they're dead. Where am I being shot from? Where? What is shooting me? I don't have any enemies on my map. Okay. Neat. Yeah, I'm with you, Bulldozer. I really wish there was an option to be like, hey, White Legs, uh, Caesar's Legion sucks and you're not gonna get what you need. Why don't you just learn how to farm, you dinguses? You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> very dumb. I have to walk. 
have to walk all this way? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this at all. This sucks. <laughs> I have to... Oh, all right. Let's see how it goes. You know what? Why can't I take the fight to them while also letting the Zaros escape? You know what I mean? Why can't we just do both? Let the Sorrows escape while I do the distraction tactic. Although I guess if they're all dead, then there's no threat anymore, right? Joshua, why are you here if you're not gonna help me? Nice! Blast his arm off, bud! I guess I just have to walk all the way there, fight a few white legs as I go, and then fight our way to the camp. Okay. Make a new save. We're talking about some heavy, funny things. Sorry. Yeah, it'll let us genocide through, but not kill. Yeah, it's strange. Also, yeah, Bulldozer Man, I did the Great Cons thing, and I was like, y'all don't want to join the Legion. Yes. Ew, Joshua, don't say it like that. Sir, my god, you have an illness. I think either way you're attacking the White Legs camp. I don't... I mean, either way you're attacking the White Legs, because it's all self-defense. Like, if you're doing the escape route option, you're gonna get ambushed, you know? I really wish I could run. Ara, hello, how are you? How's your weekend going? I have to keep following the river, right? Oh, God. Oh, thank you for the stretches. Oi. Oi. I really wish there was an option to take Joshua and Daniel with you back to the Mojave, take the fight to Caesar. That's a crusade I can get behind. Same here. <laughs> De-stressing some before bed. Good. You deserve that. Anyone trying to fight me? No. Oh, hello. You're so far away, I can't get you. But you're not so far away. Come here. Hey, buddy. Where are you? Oh, they're dead. Cool. I have to follow the river, so let's go this way. Hey there, bud. Oh, there's three of them? That's not ideal. All right, let me use that rifle that he gave me. Nope, wrong button. Getting shot. I want to prepare. I have to equip it, oh my God. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, Joshua did all the work? No. Where are you? Are you dead yet? I'm gonna leave it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Which way am I going? This way. Oh, there's fishies. That's fun. Is this the Burn Man DLC? It is! We're currently taking the fight to the White Legs. I don't feel good about it, but... What the hell? There we go! <laughs> I'll just make Joshua do cleanup crew, it's fine. 
Let me create another save. I'm level 37, dang. I got a ton of experience doing this DLC. Wowzers. Tiny Gamer, hello. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Could you imagine how painful it would be to sneeze when being all wrapped up like the burn man? Well, th that's just rough because also like burn injuries. You know what I mean? Nice. Did you explore all the caves? Nah. But knowing I can come back means I can do that later. I know everyone wants me to find them, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> and I don't feel like having to hunt them down without a guide. Because I thought I found everything and I clearly haven't. But knowing I can come back here makes that a lot less intimidating. You chose the Legion? No. Not even close. I wanna... I really wanna mess with that, that sad little man. Caesar sucks. There's no point in being stealthy here, because they just kind of spawn out of nowheres. Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Caesar really should have stuck to making salads. What are you doing here? We gotta keep going this way. This way? This way. Yeah. J Jam, hello. Far. Beep, 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 beep. I'm trying to get up and around so I have an easier time shooting them. Oh, I just go this way. Okay. I want to go. Oh, was this the right way? Hold on. I'm all turned around. Is this a dead end? Thank you for the head pads. I don't think I'm in the right spot. I need to get back into this game. I still haven't done a luck build. There's another VTuber who's streaming it right now, Berry Bug. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the build they're going for is uh, 10 luck, one intelligence, which I think seems like a lot of fun. What the hell? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all turned around. Give me a sec. I should be able to just keep going this way, right? And then... Okay, there's a passage here. It's dark. I'm gonna wait for the morning. I'm sorry. It's so freaking dark in this game. I can't see nothing. There we go. Jeez. Hello. Can I go up here? I don't think I'm supposed to. I'll just keep following the river. 
What in the hell? Oh, they're trying to block this the path. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Wait, where the... Where did you go? Bruh, wait. Sir. Excuse you? Wait, what? Why did you... What a coward. Fine, I'll do it myself. Jeez, this guy sucks. <laughs> oh, cool. We're gonna go through the cavern? Alright, spooky cave time. Spooky cave time. Oh, you're mad. Oops. That makes sense. What you got for me? Ow, ow, ow! Oh, hold on, let me reload. Shh, pause. Yeesh. I come in and the man himself poofs and welcome in, Ren. Hello. Let's take a nap around some corpses, shall we? That seems smart and safe. Oh, can't sleep when there's enemies nearby. Well, that makes sense. Let's go this way. There we go. Can I nap now? Nice. Man, I wish going to bed is all it took to make my body not hurt. <laughs> what a what a miraculous discovery that would be. Ooh, explosives crate. Don't mind if I do. There we go. Missile. Nice. Naps are an important part of the storming enemy strongholds. <laughs> yeah, imagine if sleep actually cured what ailed you. I mean, look, like we've said earlier in stream, sleep is good for you all of the time. Make sure you're getting freaking sleep, y'all. Get your Z's in. But it'd be nice if it, like, actually, like, healed you hardcore. You know what I mean? Hello? Let's go this way. Oh, it's a cave-in. Okay, that's fine. No, Zane, don't you dare. No. Whether I'm streaming or not, get your freaking honk schnooze in. What? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where? Oh, hello. Bra, 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 bra. Goodbye. Hello. I don't want to get poisoned. You have another friend. Where? Hello. It didn't have to be this way. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. There we go. It is three in the morning! Gray Fox, I'm so sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. <laughs> Good morning. What is... Why is that typewriter here? That's kind of funky fresh. I feel bad because I try to make sure my stream times work for everyone, but I also can't stream to, um, what's the word? If I stream too early, I get really tired. <laughs> um, we can keep going this way. 
I'm not seeing any points of interest around here either. I gotta work off at 12. Okay. Late shift. I hope when you go to bed, though, that you get lots of good sleep. Why is there all of these random electronics out? Yeah, that's the, the tragedy of live content is there's always going to be a stream time that doesn't work for someone. But I still try my best, you know? Oh. Rude. Rude. Oh, I'm like running super low on ammo. That's no good. You have any ammo for me? Oh, perfect. I wonder if something crashed around here because there's just like random bits and bobs. You know what I mean? Thank you for the hydrate. Oh, hey there. You don't look like a friend. There we go. Oof, I am low on ammo. I'm running real, real low on ammo. Oop, that's a bear trap. Do I want to go up and around or just follow the water? I think I can keep following the water. Yeah, the downside of automatic weapons is they use so many bullets. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hmm. I see some friends up ahead, I think. So that's good. Is that a bug? Like an insect or a game bug? I think that's a game bug. <laughs> Just a guess. But, you know. Cool. We're on the right. We're on the right path. Thanks, Obsidian. Look, I'm not gonna hate on them. Designing games like this takes a lot of work. There's bound to be some hiccups here and there. You know what I mean? Okay, that's that. Uh, let me change my gun, please. Everyone, pause. Everyone, pause. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot, I forgot to equip it. I forgot to equip it. I forgot to equip it. And then, do I have a purified water? Cool. Let me reload. Uh. I don't want to shoot through a friendly by accident. There we go. Type out, I can't kill you like this. You know, did you ever have that kid on the playground when you were playing tag who would invent a rule when they were losing and be like, wait, 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 uh, we all have to stop. My shoes are tied and it doesn't count. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes. Oh God. I know that losing feels bad, but you gotta learn how to lose, man. It's a, it's a good, it's like genuinely a good life skill, learning how to take a loss. Uh, all right, what weapon do I want to hold on to? Let's use this for a bit. That's the kid we suplex. <laughs> no, look, enacting violence upon someone is not going to teach them anything valuable. Oh, what the hell? We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Uh, Joshua, what's wrong with you, man? watch a conserve our all. You understand. Out man, Kuna man, mad. He kill all white legs. You talk, you stop. I mean, 
Scenario peerless, whatever. Oh my god, that's so messed up. Listen. Joshua's unhinged. But what did the the white legs what they You, why are you upset now because you're gonna die you've you've not you've hunted these people across regions we're going to kill you but not like this defend yours oh um this isn't what i signed up for let me talk to joshua about this no he can't live but joshua buddy i'm telling you you need to get some therapy you can no ni kumpa me they are you. Over here. They oh, I don't want to be using my sniper rifle for this. Let's take out their guy first. I've lost time out. Hey, that's Clara's tactic. <laughs> you can oh, I'm out of ammo again. It's the same oh. end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Lakes won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow will be here soon enough. And there is much to do. Yeah, I don't feel good about any of this, and I want to make that really clear. But I don't know what else I was going to do. Yeesh. Oh, da, 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 da. Can I make? Can I do Animal Friend now? I should be able to. Where's Animal Friend? I want to be friends with Fam. Animal Friend, hooray! Nice. Oh, did it freeze? And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Lake was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Lake's diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion, but it was a small comfort. The Sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails Caravan. Capitalism wins again, Rose yay. Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided the big cities of the Mojave Wasteland and NCR were best left unexplored. Though he sometimes dreamed of distant lands, he continued to support his family at Dead Horse Point, and eventually, his wanderlust faded. 
Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing assault upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys, Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty mm. for which he had been known in his former life. Nah, I don't believe that. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. Were they though? For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence on Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and dead horse pool. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Okay. What's all this? A light in shining darkness? Chalk's headdress, Daniel's hat, Daniel's outfit, Joshua Graham's armor, Salt Upon Wound's helmet, and Power Fist, and Scripture. I don't want none of that. Where am I? Oh, Southern Passage. Cool. It's all unique loot. Doesn't mean I want it, though. I don't like Daniel or Joshua or Salt Upon Wounds. I don't like any of them. I don't want their stuff. I want to go home. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Quest completed. Departing Paradise. Thank you for the headpads. Oh, I should equip a weapon that has actual ammunition in it. Um. Oh, this makes me sad. This is where I met the Happy Trails people who all freaking died. <laughs> well... We did it! We did the DLC! Wowie zowie! Back in the Mojave! Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's pick up some other quests. Oh, that's right, I'm doing a bunch of, like, endgame stuff still. Um... I think all the quests I have left are DLC. Are there any other quests I'm missing? I feel like I might be missing some quests in the strip, though. I also need to buy- oh wait, hold on, let me go to Gunrunners. I need ammo so bad. I am real low on ammunition. Where is Gunrunners? Oh, I still have to do Arcade's quest, too. That's right. I have to do Arcade Ganon's quest. Welcome, sir or ma'am. Um, is now a good time to do that? I Okay, I... I need to buy 5.56 millimeter ammo. I need to buy... ...10 millimeter ammo. And... ...that should be enough for now.
just want to sort of clean up my inventory a bit. anymore i have a request that you might not be able to do the next dlc which i think is old world blues has a trailer on youtube would you be able to do a reaction to it before starting that dlc or would that cause problems thank you for the 100 bits i think i could potentially run into dcma problems if it has any copywritten music and i stream it I also don't want to end up getting spoiled. That is a small concern of mine. Because um, if I watch it, I'll know what's going to happen. And I want to go in not knowing anything. I'm sorry. I hope that's okay. Uh, let's stop by Novak. Oh, and thank you for that ad break. Because I think my sandwich was delivered. Which would be pretty tasty. So let me just hop into my room and organize my inventory a bit. Do you have Wacky Wasteland? I don't. A lot of people were asking me to do it, but I wanted to just play the game as vanilla as possible for my first playthrough. But in the future, I'm happy to try it out. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um... I had to get rid of some stuff for inventory purposes. Hey, hey. Ugh, excuse me. Ugh. Same for Old War Blues. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that to that today. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, but I don't know just yet. I'll grab Maria because I have a lot of ammo for it. Okay. Cool. I'm going to take a quick break to grab myself a sandwich. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to do next. I think y'all let me know. Is it cool if I do Arcade Ganon's personal quest? It's the only follower quest I haven't done yet. And everyone told me to like wait on it. Is now the time to do it? Let me know. I will be back in a few minutes. Hello. Thank you for your patience. Don't mind me. I, this sandwich is a lot bigger than I expected. I have a small mouth. So it's going to take me a minute to get through this. <laughs> it's such a big sandwich, and I'm such a small dog. <laughs> I hate this. It's also like 90% lettuce. I like having greens. I don't like when all I'm eating is grass. <laughs> I'm also sad. I explicitly said in my order what I wanted on my sandwich because I have all these tummy problems. They still put spicy mayo on it. I love spicy mayo. I can't eat spicy mayo. But I'm going to do it anyway because god dang it, I bought myself a sandwich. I want to eat it. <laughs> Neck low. I am, um, I'm level 37. I am very close to the end game. I just finished Honest Hearts DLC. I've done Dead Money DLC. I haven't done the other DLCs yet. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's not even gonna be a tomorrow problem in 10. It's gonna be like a bedtime problem, probably, maybe. We'll see. I have medication. I'm like, ugh. I, I'm, so, it's like, kind. I'm gonna be honest, it's like a little depressing because I just want to order myself food once in a blue moon and every time, every time there's like some kind of problem with it and I just want to be able to eat I just want to eat a little snack <laughs> sorry also bulldozer man thank you for the follow dead money made me very upset I did not enjoy it <laughs> I think the concept was great but Personally, the execution was not for me. 
Puma, thank you for the lurk. All right. Let's go grab Eddie and Arcade. I'm gonna try and trigger Arcade's quest now. Y'all can let me know if it's a bad plan, but I think that's what I wanna do. Oh wait, that's right. They're at my um fancy penthouse suite. We stopped doing the DLC. I finished the Honest Hearts Ooh. DLC. I'm sorry, I should update my um chat title. The idea of a ghost town in a western should work, but it just didn't. I think I like a lot of the con concepts in Dead Money. I think the idea of a heist is really fun. Um, I can see why survival horror would be appealing to some players, but for me, I'm just not interested in that genre at all. You know? All right, let's go to the penthouse. I'm so sorry if I burp into the mic. Oh, wait, that's wrong. I can't help it. I have tummy problems that make me burp a lot. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> Where are my followers? Oh, wait, you know what? I can dump some caps into this, right? Cool. Can I do anything else? No. Okay. Hello? Where are my followers? Oh! There you are! How you doing? What's up? Okay. Uh, I'm looking for... I'd be building Gundams. <gasps> Lucky, you're getting Ferret this week. I'm so envious. I have, by the way, I forgot to say this in the Discord. I have ordered a Gundam. I've just been waiting for it to get delivered. Um, as part of my second anniversary stream, uh, we hit a subathon goal where I'm going to build a Gundam live on stream. I just need it to get delivered. I thought Eddie would be here. There you are, bud. Join me. Which one? The only one, for, so I want to build everything from Witch from Mercury at some point, and the only one that I could get, because they were all sold out, was uh, Choo Choo's training unit, but I'm honestly okay with that, because I, um, what's the word? I don't really know what I'm doing, and the Demi Trainer seems pretty accessible. Like, as much as I love Guel's unit, it just seems like a lot more to do. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Yeah, why do you want to know? Who are you? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there, the lucky 38, I mean, and we were wondering if you could help us, if it's not too much trouble. I would love to. You're the only faction I like. How did you get enough money to enter the strip? This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. What does this involve? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Um, and this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. <laughs> Dr. Clara diagnoses a terminally low discussion of gaps in this conversation. <laughs> All right, I'm on it. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. 
It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Yeah, I like the followers. I'll do anything to help them. They're one of the only factions it feels like that actually gives a crap about people. You know? Like the common people. All right, let's go grab Ganon. Arcade's over here. Have you gotten the quest to return to sender? I think so. Let's double check that. It's so hard to read this, but maybe not. What was the quest about? No, I don't know now. <laughs> Kaze! The common people? Oh, you mean target practice in the wasteland? Stop. No. Uh, where is... I need the followers settlement. This is not the way to the followers settlement. I forget. <sighs> oh, it is. Okay, I just went in a different direction. I get all confused. Watch out. Let's kill Why do you do this, man? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? You good? Hey, Hello. You're the one who's yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you for the squirrel bits. <laughs> I guess. All right, where's the door? I think it's this way. Hello? Arcade. I need your medical expertise. You help people? Here, I have a dead squirrel. <laughs> What ending did you go for for the DLC? Um, I did the ending where we fought the White Legs. Arcade! Where are you? There you are. What's up? Follow me! There's something about that robot that doesn't seem all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? I like Eddie. I'm really very boring. Do you always deflect on personal questions? Only to obfuscate my past association with a fascist paramilitary organization. What? I'm joking, of course. Oh. I will deflect personal questions at any opportunity. Honestly, it isn't too difficult if you have half a brain and aren't a complete jerk. I wanted to help people and I enjoyed learning, so I signed up. New Vegas is in trouble, so I came out here. If someone doesn't step up and try to help the people here, it's going to end very badly. Where did you get your medical training? The followers taught me everything I know about medicine. Despite our humble abode here in New Vegas, we have great facilities back in the NCR. We may have overextended ourselves by setting up camp in Freeside, but the people here need help from someone. If not us, who? That's what I'm saying. No one else in Vegas gives a crap about Freeside. I'm really very... Oh. You don't want to tell me anything else? Okay, I guess you don't want to talk right now. Where's, um, Mohawk Lady? I forget her name at the moment. Julie Farkas? I like her. Okay. This guy tries to be funny. It kind of irritates me. I don't know. I thought it was pretty... It's like a very dry wit. I thought it was pretty funny. I, 
For a second, I was like, my guy, how do you go from fascist paramilitary to the followers? Um. Hmm. Let's bug an access point real quick. I'm curious to see where this quest will lead. And then I have to figure out how to trigger Ooh. Arcade's personal quest. So that's gonna be, like, that is one of my complaints with this game is I have no idea. Like, as somebody who's never played any of these games before, um, hello. Anti-gravity plant display. That feels good and safe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I would, like, the game doesn't tell you how to, like, do any of that stuff, and that's kind of, Frustrating. You know what I mean? Should we look it up? I don't mind looking it up. I was just like, if anyone knows offhand because they're like a big fan of the franchise, that's cool. And if not, don't worry about it. What's up? Will you tell me more about yourself now? Uh no? Okay. Wait here. Wait here. I have to go bug an access point. The floating plants are a sign things are starting to break in Skyrim save often. <laughs> I didn't know that. That makes sense. Let's do that. Thank you. Have a nice day. Where can I find a data access point? I know where I can find one. I don't know if they're going to shoot at me for interacting with it, but I saved. No, nope, that's not what I want. Where do I? Bug an access point. Maybe in the lobby? Not in the right area. This is also not right. See no? Yeah, there we go. What a waste to have this giant casino here and not even touch it. Oh. How do I get back there? Ooh, safe. Whoa! Why are all these safes just... Oh, it's no one's been allowed to be in here since the bombs dropped. That makes sense. This stuff hasn't really been touched. I was about to say, I was like, why is this here? You know? Where is the data access? I don't want to stream Fallout to my friend Steam. Why are you doing this? Oh, that's not Steam. That's Discord. Is it on a different floor? Is it hiding in a gun cabinet? It must be above me. There's a stairwell. He's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> there we go. Here. I did it. Cool. Let's grab my followers. And we can ski daddle. Lead the Follow me. You're gonna feel silly when you find it. Yeah, I was like literally in the most simple spot. I was just overshooting things. Where? Oh, she's just hanging out here? That's nice. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? I did indeedy. I bugged the tower for you. It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it. I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. That's it? Oh, hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but, well, we tried. 
Why wasn't the data useful? We were connected for half a minute and received enough data to fill five holodisks. It looked like nonsense at first, but we decoded it. It was all biometric data, life signs from Mr. House. The technology he's using is so advanced that it samples data hundreds of times per second. It's fascinating, but depressing. Whatever technology he has can't possibly be practical for the people out here. Hmm. Is there another way to get the data? After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. Oh. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. I lost you. I risked a lot to get that data feed. I want to know. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the strip had access to some of House's technology. Specifically, a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone oh! was Benny. I know, I know. He shot you in the head and everything. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. Did Benny say why he had the Securitron? He sure didn't. Benny was pretty tight-lipped and cryptic about the thing. But he did let me poke around in it for a while. I wound up helping Benny a lot more than he helped me. Once he had access to the Securitron's memory banks, he kicked me out of the tops. Big surprise, right? Should have seen that coming. Well, Pixie, thank you for the follow. Right. Because when I was talking to Yes Man, he mentioned a follower. What did he have with... What did he have you do? The Securitron was disabled somehow. Might have been an EMP given some of the damage I saw. Anyway, he wanted it re-enabled and connected to Mr. House's data network. The trick was getting it to be invisible on the network. If Mr. House detects a rogue Securitron in his system, he remotely fries it. Getting around that security feature was a bit tricky. You didn't think to tell anyone about this? Yeah, strange as it sounds, I figured that badmouthing one of the Strip's most powerful people wasn't a good idea. The only reason why I'm telling you any of this is because he's gone now. <laughs> uh, let's talk about something else. What do you- Um, what do you do around here? I'm interested in medicine, but it's not my strong suit. I try to help out with any computer issues the followers have. That's why I was helping out with the research into Mr. House's technology. Trying to, anyway. How long have you been with the followers? About five years now. I have family back in Arroyo. But this is where all the good work is being done, so to speak. NCR taxes and inflation... Snowball, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome! With, and most of the money's going to the war effort. There's not much funding for medical research with OSI or any other group. Not unless it has a military application, anyway. Your emote is so cute. Oh my heart. <laughs> that was stream. Thank you so much for bringing your community here. Sorry, I wanted to figure out what was happening with this dialogue. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else to do there. That sucks. I would have liked to help them more. Arroyo is the tribe you started in Fallout 2. Oh, that's cool. Thanks for letting me know that. Um... So how do I get you to do your quest, Arcade? Let me pull up a little guide real quick. Talk to old people? Is that literally <laughs> Is that literally the quest trigger is just talk to old people like Raul? I'm gonna look this up real fast. Oh, <laughs> Kev, thank you. If anyone's interested, I do have emote commissions open. Um, so if that interests you. I also do um, profile pictures. I could do a PNG tuber too. I don't have any publicly listed prices, but I used to do them, so you can just ask me. Um, there's a special location. Yeah, I'm just pulling it up on the wiki real fast because I don't want to have to stumble around to figure this out. Um, I need to have him as a companion, gain his trust, and progress one of the main storyline triggers. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba.
Oh, it looks like I actually haven't hit his quest triggers yet. Because it's mentioning quests that I haven't done yet, that I don't have access to. So I don't know if I can actually do his quest yet. It's His quest really is like late game. Y'all were, were very much not exaggerating that. Um, Okie okay, doodle then. Well, I guess I have to do more of these. Uh, are there any other quests in the strip that I can do before I start doing the rest of the endgame stuff? Vault 21. Have I done all the quests in Vault 21? Does each building only have, like, one quest associated with it? Let's find out together. Oh, easy ways to kill slash disable house. Well, that is my plan, I think. I think we are gonna work towards that. Is this the Vault 21 hotel? Yeah. Let's see if I'm missing anyone here. Because I think I got one quest from here. So let's make sure I'm not missing any others. Oh yeah, I know Arcade also hates the Legion. Which is why I like Arcade. We have good vibes with Arcade. Let me see if there's any named characters lying around in here. Uh. Control? I don't want to mess with your vault. I still wonder what Mr. House was doing with the rest of this vault. Because he filled half of it with concrete, and I have to wonder why. You know, like, how did he benefit? I don't think there's any reason not to take out Mr. House now. You think so? Let me just do a quick sweep. Sergeant Ray yes, in Forlorn Hope has a quest that's pretty cool. Let me go see if I grabbed it then, because I thought I got all the quests, but it's very possible I did not. Thank you for letting me know, and thank you for the bits. I appreciate those. Oh, yeah, I also know Bulldozer. Yeah, like, all a bunch of followers have, like, triggers to not be your companion anymore. And the Legion is one of them for, I think, a few people. Do you have a name? No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just the one guy in the cafeteria. All right, now I have to get out of here. Those kings finally got who's the real boss around Is he here. still here? No, he wouldn't be here. They they left. Right? Yeah, I think it's just unnamed NPCs. Okay, well, then let's get out of here. Let's head back up. And I guess we'll go kill Mr. House. How does that sound? Have you done the Pip Boy 3 billion quest? I don't think so. I just need to select a quest to get out of here. Here's the thing I'm not killing Mr. House because Caesar asked me to. I'm killing Mr. House because he's bad news. <laughs> and I don't like him. Did you save the ghouls from the vault? No, tragically, I don't think I did. I think I... I don't think I did. Oh god, it's the pimp boy. Wait, is that what it's called? That wasn't a... I thought that was a typo. What do you mean, the pimp boy? Excuse me? I don't want to know what that means. I think you saved the farmers? Yeah, that's the mission. I believe so. That's no typo? What in the hell? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm trying to do an independent Vegas ending. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of Mr. House. But I also, I need Mr. House to upgrade his robot army first. But I think we did that with Caesar. Because we went into his funky bunker. I 
All right, let's head into the lucky 38. It's a modification for your pip boy. Oh, I don't care about that. It's just cosmetic? Nah, I'm fine. I want to murder that dude. Oh, that's right. I can't get in from this side. Please do not stand in the fountain. Evil doers, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How's it going? If this is your first time here, hello. I'm Clara Dogford. I'm a golden retriever girl. And I'm currently playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. I've never played it before, so please. No spoilies. Uh, we're very deep in this game, though. We're, like, pretty close to the end game, I believe. I want you to wait oh. here. And I want you to wait here. Because I can't bring my followers to meet Mr. House. It's just the, it's just me. Am I a furry? I don't think so. I'm, like, not even anthropomorphic. I just have dog ears and a tail. There is a tail back here, but my braids kind of block it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna save. Is this lightly modded? Nope, I'm not playing with any mods. Um, my Pip-Boy is whatever that color is. Insert furry tier meme. <laughs> to be clear, I have no beef with furries. I don't think I am one though. It's like a LARPer thing. Allow me to introduce you to the concept of VTubers. <laughs> uh, I... Gonna save. Yeah, a chemo no no mimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Because I feel like furries tend to be therianthropes, right? Where they're like humanoid, but still have more animal features than human features, right? Like they are typically bipedal in ways that most animals are not, but they don't have like human faces and hands. <gasps> Star, hello! How was your convention weekend? Like, a ca yeah, like the concept of an anime cat girl, except I'm a dog. <laughs> the same concept, yes. Um, all right, cool, I saved. Let's talk to Mr. House. So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Taking a break, I love that for you. We're uh, doing quest I stuff. I could be wrong, oh. but I thought the pimp boy was a potential favor for Malvis man for his dog, though could be wrong. It's made of gold. I did do all of the king's quests and did not get a pimp boy out of it. Is that a wacky wasteland thing? Thank you for the bits. Uh, um, all right. So I think I have to give him the platinum chip, right? All right. This is this is a spoiler question for anyone who understands the end game. I'm pretty sure I give him the platinum chip. He upgrades the robots, and then I kill him. I think that's how. I do this. Oh, it's part of a hidden Mick and Raft quest? Oh. I ran into an art mutual from a private server? <gasps> no way! That's so exciting! Oh man, that's, that's the thing about cons that sounds cool. You know what? Oh, you know what made me so sad? Quick sidebar. Oh, connection lost. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hold on. Let me do Such this real quick. small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. Hold so on. He has to do this. I've seen him do this before. Decades of hiring. Blah, 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 blah. What happens next? Uh, beep, 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 boo, beep, boop, beep, boo. Hold on. Uh, beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Cool. Okay, sorry. I want to I talk to y'all and not have to deal with this again. Um, Pimp Boy is an unmarked quest reward. Ah. Uh... Got it. Sora Peak and I spent way too much money, but it's been loads of fun. No, listen. If you're supporting local artists and independent artists, it's not a waste of money. <laughs> now, maybe I'm selfish because I am an artist who has commissions open, so maybe I have a bias here, but <laughs> you're reinvesting into important economies. <laughs> I was going to say real quick. Hololive has teased some kind of Hololive EN event in LA. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Try throat. Um, they've teased some kind of live event in LA, and I have never been so upset to be stuck on the East Coast. I <laughs> I've never been to LA. And also crowds scare me, but if it means seeing a bunch of Oshis live, like <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> like, I, I have to get more details, but, like, a part of me really wants to go. <laughs> Husky boy, welcome in. Hello. Oh, sorry. The sandwich is messing with my throat. I want to go, too. I... Because, like... I'm gonna go on a quick Hololive rant because I'm a big fan. They do, um, like, a kind of, like, convention in Japan in March every year, which I would also be interested in attending, but I am very far from fluent in Japanese. And flying all the way to Japan is a lot, but flying to a, a domestic flight I can do. I don't have a passport, <laughs> you know? But I don't know if they've released more information. I have to... I'm gonna have to check the subreddit. Twitter has been a nightmare recently, and I can't, like... I don't know, my feed is messed up. I can't find any information ever. So I have to go see if they announce more. Because they they dropped a teaser at like 10 p.m. my time. So I'm going to have to see if they drop more info. Learned how to mod just so I could remove faction armor feature so I can wear con armor because it's a leather jacket with short jeans without NCR <laughs> trying to murder me all the time. I know that feeling. It's rough when it's like that armor is so cool. Why can't I wear it? <laughs> Even the bits. Um, sorry, okay, I just, <laughs> I, I saw that Hall Life was doing, like, I think a live concert, maybe a convention, and I got all excited. Alright, so if anyone's wondering, we gave a guy a, a secret hidden microchip that makes robots into murder bots. That's what's happening here. It's X-25 Gatling laser. Oh! Back by the vanilla Gatling. New Vegas it's game, Pimp Boy 3 Billion, is bugged on female range. characters? Oh! Thank you for letting control. me know. The I'm not gonna bother getting it then. That sucks. All of this you probably already That's good to know. What I don't like that. Is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. God, Today, Mr. House, you're such a psycho. The platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. No, I appreciate that you told me that that was broke. Like, cause saving me the headache of running into a bug, I appreciate. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair bop, bop, systems. Bop, 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 bop. Mr. House, you talk too much. Has anyone ever told you you're a bit too chatty, sir? increase in combat effectiveness per unit. I hate that, though. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. But does we the city want them? You've never actually bothered to ask what the people of the city want. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Mr. House, we get it. You're about to make more boom now. You could have had Yes Man do it for you and killed House? Wait, what? I thought when I went to Yes Man, he's like, you gotta upgrade the chip. And I was like, okay. Can Yes Man kill Mr. House for me? Was I misunderstanding how to accomplish this? Am I dumb? <laughs> I was confused. Oh, God. Um... Why show your hand like that? Now your enemies know what you're up to. Well, yeah, no, I do want to give Yes Man control, but I also want to kill House. You could have killed House and done all this with Yes Man instead. Oh. Ba 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 ba. I've done enough work for you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. This is why we save. All right, so we're just gonna schmurder homeboy, right? I'm stuck. All right, we're gonna deactivate all his robots. I can't deactivate these robots. There we go. 
Oh, this one just didn't consider me sneaking because I wasn't behind him enough. No? I guess it's bugged on that one. TRCG, hello! How are you? Uh, I don't think I could deactivate these guys. I have a perk that lets me sneak up on robots to turn them off forever. But it only works with some of them. For whatever reason. I also can't disable Jane because she's an NPC. So that's fine. Like, she has a name. I also need to equip my fancy gun. Oh, he might have been detecting me. That makes sense. Targeting. Ow. Targeting. What the hell? Oh, that's what's getting me. Targeting. Oh, I should heal. I'm hurt. Stim pack. How's my sneak? My sneak's like a hundred, I think, actually, but none of these guys are mad, but these guys are. Oh, this is also harder because I, oh no, I didn't upgrade them yet. That's probably for the best then. Okay. Ooh, ammo. Oh, I think that's Jane. Sorry, Jane. Yeah, that's Jane. Sorry, homegirl. Oh, it's like an EMP weapon. How are you one-shotting those? So this is a special weapon, this pulse gun that I have. Um, It has bonus damage versus robots and power armor. So it, even though my energy skill is bad, it's a really good weapon. Doki. Control room. I feel really bad. The last time I did this, I straight up shot him and I didn't, it didn't feel good. <laughs> I didn't like doing it. So let's save again. The pulse gun? No, I've had it since early. I got it from a vault, I think. I know everyone tells me to beat him with a club, but I don't want to do that. Hey there, man. How you doing? Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. <laughs> I don't like you. Just business. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done as asked. You won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. That feels somehow worse, though. Like, just let, just making him. But I got bad karma for straight up murdering him, and I don't want to get bad karma. Uh, you won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. No! Don't disable Cerebrum! I'd rather be killed! Just kill me! That's so depressing! Huh? But I'm gonna get bad karma. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. You asked for it, my guy. I'll take you out with Benny's gun. A tragedy has befallen all mankind. I've lost karma. Is there any way to do this without losing karma? Or do you always lose karma? As it does feel bad that the game's like, you're bad. He asked me to! <laughs> I mean, you know? 
Maybe I'll put him in his tube good as new. I don't know. Yeah, I'm with Kaze. He was like, I would rather just die then. You know? That's right. He also wrote his own obituary, which is... Extremely... I mean, I guess on the one hand, who better to write their own obituary than the individual themselves? But he's, like, so full of himself. Karma's useless in this game? Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I guess what's done is done. Which means now I can go to... Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to Caesar. Let's go to Yes Man. No way to get around the karma issue. Thank you for checking, Wiggles. I appreciate that you checked for me. If I engage with the connection, can I talk to... No. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe I could talk to Yes Man there, but... No such luck. Wrong one. I have to go to the casino. There we go. Ah, oh, beans. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder if you could have spared Jane. I'm pretty sure you can't. I don't know why she she's like programmed to be loyal to him. So, man, arcades like I don't like the robot. The robot gives us battle music, man. I didn't upgrade them because I'm gonna have Yes Man upgrade them. I did upgrade them at the fort, I think, but now I have to go talk to Yes Man. Maybe the real battle music was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, talk to Arcade. Thank you for the reminder. Hey, hey, baby doll. What Yes, shut up. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Let's talk to Arcade real quick. Says the Legion's calling in their 18 -carat big Where did he go? I did tell him to follow me, didn't I? There you are. What's up? I'm re it could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. But really, as long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. He doesn't want to talk to me. But that's okay. We have opportunities to make him talk. We'll make him talk. We'll do it. Oh, that's right. I don't have any weapons. I played with Eddie so much, I never knew the music wasn't just part of the game. <laughs> I do really like having Rex, but... um, I like... Eddie's blasty blasts. Hey, friend. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? Uh, Mr. House is out of the picture already. You already took care of Mr. House? Wow, you work fast. I'm ready for you to join me at Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Cool. Now I have to go back. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you have to plug in Yes Man first. That makes sense. And then I get him to handle the upgrade. Okie dokie. This way. Aaron Kimball is a former war hero. God dang it! Huh, my game crashed. Barnacles and beans. Rex 
Rex is named after an Elvis reference? Wait, Rex is just king. Of course someone named the king would name their dog king. I am I never put that together. That makes so much sense. <laughs> All right. Cool. Autosave should have saved me. Um, perfect. Cool. Now we go back. The Lonesome Drifter. Oh, that's so nice. Now that the tops has like new um people, they all have their own like marquee and time and stuff. That makes me so happy. I'm glad. Rex is just king, big brain. I never put that together though. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone's wondering, Rex in Tyrannosaurus Rex, it just means king. Rex Regis. It's an irregular noun. Thank you for the head pats. Or is it Regis? I think it's Regis. I don't quite remember though. Uh, presidential suite? No, that's where I live. I want to go to penthouse. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, hey there. Hi. This is big, huh? A very big moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Good luck, yes, man. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. See you soon. Did you die or just... Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his data banks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Wait. Okay, big brother. So, that's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. Okay. Okay, cool. Is this get thing again? To the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> <laughs> Our titanium alloy housing does a good job of protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms fire and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite deadly against soft targets in medium range. That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. Why does it feel like he's All a villain? This is old hat, right? Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine. Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. Makes quite a difference. With the M-235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets at long range. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launching system makes us deadly in close-range engagements. Woo! Look at that! Um... The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! Oh, God. All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness. Per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. That's what Mr. House said. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. Caesar's Legion, shunned. You've left a poor impression on the community and baby shunned as a result. Oh no, quest failed. I hear you knocking? Oh, because I didn't talk to Caesar, I guess. Yeah, because I didn't go crawling back. Oh, wait. I lost a bunch of quests. Whoa, wait. All of my quests are gone. I had a quest to talk to someone at Hoover Dam for the NCR. Uh, yeah, the... Oh, because I can't... Wait, did I beef again? Did I, I did I whiff this again by accident? 
Hold on. Wait a second. I didn't talk to the general. Was I supposed to talk to the general? In my defense, this is confusing. <laughs> God dang it. I think I beefed it again. The end figuring out the endings of this game is like trying to unravel a tangled pair of headphones. What? Uh, we didn't do this. We didn't do this. Uh, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. Thank you, one guy. It's hard to tell where the cutoff points for each faction is. Let's go to oh, Hoover see. Dam. Eventually, I will get this right. <laughs> Eventually, I will get this right. Lead the Yes, man. Sorry, we have to say no. We will eventually say yes to yes, man. I just have to get the the, the quest order correct. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Okay. The NCR has yeah, that's right. If I work with yes, man, more they get mad. So let's go talk to J Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam. Wowie zowie, that is far. Oh, wait, someone said there was a quest at Forlorn Hope. Did I get that quest? Uh, Camp Forlorn Hope was up here? No. Let's do that real quick. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Why is an NCR trooper wearing power armor? I didn't expect that. Reyes? Reyes, Lalti, Reyes, Lol. I might have done all the quests here, but where do I find them? Oh, they've just scavenged power armor. I didn't expect someone as better now that all those Legion troops and Nelson are dead. The NCR might actually have a chance of kicking their asses after all. Oh, there we go. Got rid of those dog tags, but where? I think I might have done the quest for Reyes. I'll have to look that up online. Um, let's go from Camp Golf. And we'll follow that path. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's follow this road. Let me make a new save. Fresh save where I don't beef stuff up. <laughs> Thank you for the stretches. Stretch time! Mm. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Thank you. Okay. So, we want to start here and go. This way. Am I following the train track for this? I guess so. Just until I find an actual road. Oh, I didn't? Ah, oh, beans. I'll look it up online so I can figure out where he resides and I'll go make sure I trigger that in my next stream. Is this right? Am I following this train track? No, there's supposed to be a road. If I go this way, eventually I'll find it. Oh, don't worry about it, Wiggles. There's someone I haven't done a quest for it for Lone Hope, but I'll figure it out. Um, Is this the way? No, because that's the way to the camp golf. This is the way. Found it! I found it! I'm a genius. I found the road, and I am so smart. And I have my followers. Perfect. And I have my dinky little revolver. That works. Sergeant Reyes for return to center. Thank you. That's what it's called. Lake Las Vegas. Is there a lake outside of Vegas? I did not know that. I've never been to Nevada. I haven't been to most states. <laughs> I'm not a well-traveled dog. 
you know what, let's do a quick save just so that if I crash, I don't have to worry. Yeah, that's all camp golf there. That's a big old pipe. It's a lake formed by Hoover Dam. Oh, Ray's is in the command center? I was in there. I'm gonna have to figure that out. How did I how did I whiff that? Jeez. It's kind of crazy how these campers have survived 200 years. Have y'all ever gone camping in a camper like that before? Like, <laughs> my parents have been talking about how they really want to do that. And I was like, how are we going to shove the entire Dogford family into a little camper? That sounds claustrophobic to me. <laughs> oh, we got enemies. On the way to the big empty? Not intentionally. I'm just trying to go to wherever Colonel Moore's at, which I think is Hoover Dam. What is that? What in the fuck are you? Pardon my language, but that thing is awful. Oh. Why are there swamp people? Since when? Why is it sonic blasting? What in the hell are these? Why are there mermen? What? I hate it. Why? What? What were those? Campers I would like for a road trip. For camping, I don't see the point if not in a tent. I mean, with tents, you do want to be careful because, like, you need to make sure that you have them properly set up and stuff. Yeah. I'm with Kanan. Like, what... What what are like, like lake lurks, why are they the way that they are? It's like the shape of water, but not sexy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that I personally found the fishman and that to be attractive, but it was a romance movie, you know what I mean? Uh think BAM! Like, how did this end up like this? You know what I mean? I have so many questions. Oh my god. Where's that road? Here's the road. Fallout 4 made them look like frogs. I think their creature design's cool. I just hate it. You know what I mean? Like, it looks interesting. It's just horrifying. Because it's like, how did that become like that? You know? That's the part I don't like. <laughs> A Meyer Lurk King from Fallout 3. Names differently in New Vegas for some reason. They have a completely different model for Fallout 4. I would love the lore for those, because I doubt that I'll get it in this game. I've already been to Boulder City. I want to go this way somehow? I think I have to go around Boulder City. To get where I want to go. The magic of radiation. <laughs> is that real? Is it really just that simple? That's funny. They're a form of Meyer lurks, which are crabs. Those mu are mutated snapping turtles. Wait. Those were turtles? Why is there dust here? I thought the dust was going to fight me. Is there a way around this? Hey, yo, turtles got hot. Not, not, I am sorry. I'm not here to yuck anyone's yum, but that is not my style. <laughs> Look, I think at least werewolves make sense because they're warm and fluffy. But the lake lurks are just scaly and hard and slimy and icky. I don't really get the appeal of those. They existed in this universe before the bobs fell? Huh? I think those turtles should have been dressed as ninjas. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Basically, Swamp Man movie reference, probably. I've never seen a Swamp... Like, I know that there's a Swamp Man movie. I have never seen it. 
Hoover Dam. Well, I'll be. That's exactly where I need to go. Well, it's meant to ape 50s to 60s sci-fi movies. Oh, yeah. I've, like, never seen any of those before. So. What if they looked more like Sidon or Mipha? Maybe? I don't know. I still, if I had to choose one of the uh, groups in Breath of the Wild, I would go for the Rito, personally. If they existed before the bombs, probably pre-war sick experiments. Oh, that's tragic. Yeah. Whoa, is a cannon. I'm lucky that they let me waltz in here and don't shoot question and ask questions later, you know what I mean? Uh, hello? Hello. Um... Elevator? Well, I'll be. Hoover Dam. One of the last remaining functioning wonders of the pre-war world. I'm glad I took Arcade here. He probably has some good insight. Whoa, this place is huge. Evening. Hello. Oh, Colonel Moore. Hello. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Oof. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Uh, okay. I don't know what you're asking me to agree to, but okay. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Oh, yeah. Uh, they won't be a problem to anyone ever again. It sounds so dark, but I thought I'd help them. <laughs> Good riddance. We've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas. Oh, hey, I, ha I handled that too. <laughs> Our intelligence has discovered that the I've already handled this. The Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. Yeah, you had a good I need guess you to there. What they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Oh, uh, yeah, I already <laughs> I've already done all this. This is great. I don't have to le I don't have to come back. I love this. Um I was gonna say, oh, if Arcade says a line if reacting- If Arcade says a line oh. reacting to a location, it means you earned a trust point. He also has one at Reapkin HQ. Thank you for that, O'Malley. That is extremely helpful. Thank you for those bits. Um, I was gonna say, uh, I'm very glad I already did these quests for the NCR. That's extremely convenient for me. But also, I was gonna say something else. Forget. I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Amertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. Mm. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. Oh, I'm wow. to take Mr. House out of the equation. Any questions? So literally everyone wants Mr. House dead. Won't, uh, what evidence do you have that Mr. House will make a move? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate, which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? What could he possibly be up to? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Any other questions? Won't getting rid of Mr. House have huge repercussions for New Vegas? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. 
No. Also, people live here. I hate this. This is the one thing about, like... Like, people live in cities. They're not just for tourists. Pe people, people live there, ma'am. Everyone keeps ignoring Freeside, and that makes me upset. Good. Then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. Okay. Cool. Um... Oh no, the Legion doesn't like me. Oh no. Let's see if I can talk to you now. What's up? I'm ready. Okay. Oh wait, no, I want you to follow me. Hold on. Leave. Rec room? Nah, we're not going to the rec room. We're getting out of here. Why should the NCR care not care about people not in the NCR? Well, if they want to annex New Vegas, then everyone in New Vegas would become members of the NCR. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear what you're saying. Gaining New Vegas isn't as important as the dam. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. This music is so intense. And for what? All right, let's stop by Repcon. See if we can get some dialogue out of Arcade. Oh, not this again. I'm sorry, you don't deserve this. I'm sorry, it's a rough, rough way to go. I genuinely feel really bad for ghouls. Like, that sucks to like slowly lose control of yourself, you know? Because it's the god dang Hoover Dam, baby! U.S.A. baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I literally didn't know it was the Super Bowl today until yesterday. Because I asked my parents, I was like, why'd you guys buy all these chips? And like, like wings and food. Like, we don't usually eat this stuff. And my dad looked at me and he was like, it's the Super Bowl tomorrow. <laughs> I said, that's news to me. <laughs> and it's funny because it's like an annual thing. It happens around the same time every year and I just always forget. I'm, and to be clear, I have no beef with sports. I just don't follow sports. Although we're not really a huge sports family anyway. But I just like, I've never really followed them. Say something. T uh, Gannon. Arcade. I came here for nothing. <laughs> Who's doing the Super Bowl this year? I'm so sorry. I genuinely don't know anything. <laughs> Who's actually in it? Oh, am I crashed? We're not responding. That's fine. Blah, blah, blah. HQ, not the testing site. Oh, you know, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you, all, Roy. <laughs> I'm wrong. And, um... No, I don't want you to tell Microsoft that it crashed. Microsoft's not going to do anything about it. There we go. As a UK person, I only care about the Super Bowl because... Super Bowl of cereal because this year there's a Transformers trailer attached to it. <laughs> I want to move this. Where's my mouse? There we go. Microsoft is trying to help, but it can't. It can't fix a game like this from crashing. Kansas City Chiefs versus Philly Eagles. Ooh. Well, I hope fans of those teams are excited. I don't... I'm going to be honest. Usually when I am watching those kinds of events, I'll just root for whoever's losing. Because I like rooting for underdogs. But I don't really watch Super Bowl much. Sometimes I'll watch the halftime show on YouTube, but that's about it. <laughs> Super Bowl is important to keep track of, not because football, baseball is far superior, but because of movie trailers. <laughs> uh, that got me. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's a ghoul. Okay, well, let's get out of here and hopefully you don't crash this time. Hooray! Repcon headquarters. Have I discovered the Repcon headquarters? Oh, wait, y'all. You know what I haven't done? 
should we fight the powder gangers who took over the NCR correctional facility? Should we do that? I feel like I should fight them. Thanks for hanging, Kaze. I have to go for Chiefs. I'm in Kansas. That's in their name. It's the only obvious choice. You've been there before? I have. I'm just forgetful. Where is... Ally technology. Oh, here it is. Okay, found it, found it, found it. I'm smart. <laughs> Fantasy football got me into football. One of my favorite players is huge into anime and video games. Has a funny clip on YouTube. All right, let's see if this works. I've read about Repcon. Nice. I think they did some work with the... <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. What kind of prototypes? Plasma rifles. They were intended to replace the P-94 plasma caster. There was some corporate espionage going on between Poseidon Energy's project Semele and whatever was going on here. How do you know so much about this again? Stop thinking so much. Thanks. No, wait! What's up? Uh no, I beefed it! All right. I beefed it! Uh, he got mad! Oh no. Oh no. I be I whooped it. I've read about Repcon. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Rockets and energy weapons. That's an odd combination. Repcon went through some rough times. When the rocket business was shaky, Mr. House purchased the company. It didn't take long for him to repurpose their plasma technology for a government weapon contract. Yeesh. What was Project Semele? Another one of Poseidon Energy's many secret weapon projects before the Great War. It didn't go anywhere. That's how Repcon got their shot, so to speak. Okay, yeah, so that's everything. Well, thank you for telling me. Thank you for giving me... So he definitely has not always been a follower of the apocalypse, because why would he know all this about... Well, I guess maybe the followers are pretty well-educated, so maybe he just... No, that's weird. Why would you know all that, my dude? Um. All right, let's fight the powder gangers, because they're no good. My boy's coming together, so he looks so dope. Gundam, he has hydraulics for abs. Wait, what? What does that mean? That sounds cool. Caution. Danger. Not for long, baby. Actually, let me... Uh... Does the carbine have the same scope? No. Nice. If I put on their clothes, they'll stop attacking me, right? I'm pretty sure I can't do any quests for them, though. Let me put on their clothes and see what happens. Don't mind me just wearing the clothes of a dead man. Oh, oh, I threw his corpse. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, this way. Kaden, hello. Okay. Can somebody explain why the game keeps telling me I take sips from my Fallout canteen? My, my vault canteen. Why would the game give me that kind of detail? What? That thing is freaking hideous. I loathe it. Ugh. Survival mode thing? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, it's DLC for the survival mode. Okay. I hate this. It's so gross. Gross, 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 gross. Man, I can't shoot your brain if your brain's not facing me. There we go. Jeez, I hate those. They're so gross. Is this the way? Yeah, this is the way.
At least it's not a Casador or a Deathclaw. True, it's just really hideous up close and I don't like looking at it. <laughs> they freak me out. I wonder how far I can get before the Powder Gangers try to murder me. I'd like to be their not enemy, but I think I kind of whiffed it early on. I think taking sides with Good Springs kind of made them mad at me in the long run. So... Let's see if I can walk around you guys. If I don't get close, do you not get mad? Huh, well that's convenient. I chipped a nail at work. Don't remember when my finger's in unending pain. That sucks. I really, really don't like when people are like, oh, why are people being dramatic? It's just a chip nail. It's like, no, that hurts. Oh, I overshot it. Hold on. Let's just teleport here. Because now at least I'm neutral. Let's see how this goes. Looks like What? What? Eddie! Arcade! What are y'all doing? Huh? Okay. Um. Where did Eddie go? Uh. uh. Okay. Well, I think I'll just have a closer range weapon because this is probably going to go tits up real fast. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. I just want to talk to their leader and see if we can smooth things out. I don't know where their leader would be though. If I were the leader of a bunch of murder-happy jerks, where would I sit? Cell blocks? Warden's office? Where would a warden's office be? This is a guard tower, I think, but let's see what's who's up here. Oh, there's the watchman. Big building to the right. Thank you. Those are all cell blocks. So it's probably... Not one of those. That's probably it. Whoops. I, I don't know if that goo pile had a name, but I guess not. Um. Just a random guard from the looks of your armor. Water ganger bodyguard. Yeesh, they're, they're just shooting first and asking questions later, huh? Can I talk to you? Looks like break time's over. Whoa. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask my followers to wait here. Oh. And let's go talk to Eddie. I don't think he's gonna talk to me once he realizes who I am, but... Hey. Oof. Come on. Got enough? Yeah. I don't think they're going to talk to me. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Ooh, whoopsie doodle indeed. No. Okay, we're going to I'll just die and reload. Get my followers back. You like that? So, yeah, looks like even disguised, they hate me enough. So, um, oh, main figureheads will attack you? Okay. 
Can anyone tell me, um, what's Eddie's deal? Because I kind of beefed my own playthrough, so to speak. You like that? Hannigan? Who the hell is Hannigan? Come on. His deal? I meant, like, like, why is he here? What do they do, you know? He's just a wannabe raider boss. Got it. He's an enclave bot? No! Huh? Explain. I could use a doctor's bag. No! Who is Scrambler? Y'all have no. dumb names. Oh, don't be wrong. I understand the powder gangers. They are bad people. That I understand. I meant more like. Why was this guy leading them? But I guess it was just because they didn't want to be prisoners no more. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. That's gonna suck a little bit. That's fine. Let's go investigate his little office. I lost karma. That's fine. They're transferring away three more of my men. They tell me it's all to keep the situation at the dam under control, but what was... What about this place? The situation here has become more dangerous for my men and I. I know it, my men know it, the prisoners know it. Oh, it's right, because these prisoners, like, fought against the NCR here. Comments on Caesar's Legion threat. I've seen the reports of the so-called Caesar's Legion. It sounds like they're just another bunch of raiders, but the higher-ups back west seem to think they're a serious threat. Suspicions of prisoner conspiracy. Something's going on. I'm sure that Cook is behind it all. No evidence yet, but something just feels off about Cook. He's quite popular among the younger prisoners. Many of them seem to have been taken in by his anti-NCR dogma. Cook's group are all model prisoners, especially Cook himself. They don't fight. They always do what they're told. They make me nervous, and I'd have them watched every second of every day if I could. Draft of complaint. James, you and I served together for seven years. I'm calling in a favor. I need you to convince General Oliver to stop transferring my men out of here and to deliver the replacements I was promised. I'm expected to put these prisoners to work making new rail lines and fixing the existing ones, but I can't do that if I don't have any guards to keep an eye on them. Does the general really expect a handful of men to have I have left to be able to keep several dozen hardened men in line? You owe me for that one time in Modoc. Don't let me down, Nathan. Well, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Except you did get let down because everyone here got overthrown. Well, y'all, it's time to fight our way out of this. What's in here? I don't want to steal. Okay, well, time to murder our way out of this. Beep, 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 I mean, if you met Eddie, you'd want to shoot him. He was selfish and mean. <laughs> I'm glad that I'd feel justified, I guess. Woo! That's not who I want to fight. That's not who I want to fight. Here we go. The guy who was up here. I don't know if the game's actually gonna notice that I killed all these people, but. It'll, like, it'd be interesting if the NCR got to take this back or something, you know what I mean? Here we go. There's a quest line for that, actually. 
Is there a quest line to take them out officially? Or is there, an, this is like the only way to do it? Cause like in the early game, it felt like everyone was like, the powder gangers are really bad. You should be careful. But like nothing else has really happened. I don't want to steal. Well, time to murder my way out of this. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. My morality is a bit warped, isn't it? There is a quest. Ah, uh, is there? I don't want to redo all this. I really don't want to redo all this. You have to be friendly with them first. Yeah, I can't do that because I was like vilified by them. So I don't think it would have. I think we talked about this in an earlier stream. I I would I didn't have the option because I'm like too deep in the hole with them in this this playthrough. Well, that's fine. They're not good. I don't like them. Got enough. I gained karma? For murder? That can't be right. <laughs> you can't steal from the guys who are murdering strangers, but you can murder them, and that's good. <laughs> Sometimes this game gets a little warped. You have to gain their trust before you go against them. Uh, see, if I was going to play this again, at least then I would know. Oh no, they hate me more. Who the frick is Myers? Who are you? Wait, Myers, I want to talk to you. Let me talk. Myers, Myers, hello. Hey, talk. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place, not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? What did you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. Oh, this Small is the guy who'd be the sheriff in Cram. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Uh, what happened in the prison? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where can I find Cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Who's in charge of the powder gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Not for long. Good luck getting out of here, Myers. Uh, well, hey, so the good news is we resolved... Oh, hold on, I have to go to the cell blocks. So it's good to know that Cook is not here. That's useful information. Bam! No one else here. Okay. We're just gonna keep on clearing. Wait, is it Cook Cook the Fiend? That they're referring to? Or a different person? No, someone else? Okay. So I was gonna say, he died a long time ago. Carter? Hmm. They are in a vault? I thought I've been to every vault. Is there a vault I'm missing? Huh. I've been to vault 11, 21, 
Ja. Let's go north to the other ganger camp. I've been to Vault 11, 19. I don't think I've been to 19. I don't like going into buildings unless I have quests for them. Because sometimes you can break a quest if you go in somewhere before having the quest active. Is there an active quest involved with Vault 19? That I get before going into the vault specifically? Or is it triggered when I go in? So it happens and they use so much wiggles. I'm so sorry. Because that happens sometimes with these games. Is like you'll you'll go into a building and then like things break if you don't have a specific quest. Like certain characters don't spawn right and it gets all buggy. Ooh, fancy car. I see you, man. Bam! I, I would consider that pretty merciful, honestly. Literally didn't even know what hit him. Some quests only activate when entering certain areas. Got it. Looks like break time's over. If that ain't the truth. Hildern at McCarran can trigger arcade. Oh, thank you for that. That's helpful to know. Well, let's go hunt down Cook then, because I kind of want to clean these guys up. Look, I, I'm not saying I think the NCR would run a very kind prison, right? I'm not trying to insinuate that at all. However, oh, Vault 19. I also don't think um, breaking out of prison and then blowing people up about it is the right call. You know what I mean? Is this it? Well, let's, let's uh, go vault diving, shall we? <laughs> Fragmented Waffle, hello! Thank you for the head pats. If you don't want to fight, I would recommend getting a few things of C4 and a detonator. Do I need those because it's a diplomatic way out of this or because it's a faster way to fight my way out of this? Oh, thank you for the ad break. I'll do that in a second. Looks like break time's over, dies. <laughs> Faster way to fight. I don't mind fighting the old-fashioned way. I'm not hurting for caps. As long as I can buy more bullets, I'm good. And I'm lazy. Um, I do want to try and do this diplomatically, though. I don't want to murder if I can help it. Um, I already dealt with Cook Cook, though. The Fiend has been long dead, so that's fine. I'm going to take a quick break to just stretch, because I've been sitting for a minute, and I might eat some more of my sandwich. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes. So feel free to grab yourself some snacks, grab some drinks, stretch if you're able. I'll be back in under five. Thank you for your patience, everyone. It's good to just make sure I stand, stretch, watch my posture, you know? So, alrighty. Let's do, oh, I also should update my, I'm not doing honest hearts anymore. Vault 19. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back. Thank you all for your patience. I really appreciate it. I don't like... I feel bad taking breaks during stream because I don't want to like interrupt the viewing experience, but I also need to not let my legs fall asleep, <laughs> you know? All right, let's uh, head in. Hello? Zane? <laughs> Why? Now what? Oh. It just took a while. Hello? Is anyone gonna fight me? I'm gonna save. Just to be safe. Hello? Anyone home? Overseer's office. Why are there two overseer's offices? Oh, hey, it's Cook. Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. What's got you so worked up? That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. Fucking idiots. Who's Lim? 
He was an inmate like the rest of us. He was useful during the jailbreak, but now he's just another coward. He wants us to leave the vault and hand our asses to the NCR, as if they treat us like human beings. Tell me about the prison break. A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. So what brought you to this place? Heard there was an abandoned vault along this mountain ridge, and that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. Why is the area so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. If you're looking for humans, the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are muties to the southeast. Oh, I have to go back to Quarry Junction. Um, I'm gonna have him give me all these details. Oh, wait. He was an inmate like the rest of us. What about Lem? He had his uses, but he's a coward and a troublemaker. That... Who are you? You really don't know. I'm Samuel Cook. I was the brains behind the NCRCF prison break. How did you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. Aww, the NCR geez. got wise to my ambush spots, picked me up and threw me in a cage. Why do you hate the NCR? Their republic is a joke. They're a bunch of tyrants led by an even greater tyrant, that idiot Kimball. They think they have the right to annex every inch of dirt in the West and force their system on every man, woman, and child. Yeah, but you also blew up innocent caravans. Like, you could... If you wanted to make some money, you could have just, I don't know, you could have just worked as a mercenary alongside the caravans instead of murdering people? Lim. You're not one of us. What do you want? What's going on around here? Fucking Cook has us trapped here. After we escaped from an NCR prison, he dragged us around the wasteland until we ended up in this shithole. A group of us want to leave, go back to the NCR and surrender. But Cook won't let us. What are you doing in prison? Oh, what were you doing in prison? I made my living sneaking into NCR camps looking for shit to steal. I got sloppy, and then I got caught. Hmm. How'd you get out? Made it out during Cook's big prison break. Like the rest of the guys here. Who's Cook? Samuel Cook. It I just want to hear what he has to say. To organize a jailbreak. But now he's just an overambitious prick who's gonna get us all killed. Tell me about the prison break. I can be pretty sneaky when I need to be, and the prison guards were a joke. So, when Cook told me his plan, I spread the info to anyone that might be useful. Cook is just an overambitious prick. He's gonna get us all killed. Who are you? I'm a nobody. Just a survivor. Things were well enough until the NCR threw me behind Thanks bars. for hanging, Zane. Have a good one. Uh, you got any work? If you can find a way to cut off access to the sulfur in the caves below the vault, I've got some caps waiting for you. Why can't you do it? I have to watch Cook. I wouldn't put it past him to just start killing the opposition, starting with me. Why do you want to steal all... Seal off the sulfur. Cook is planning to use the sulfur to make bigger explosives. Ah, oh, jeez. Check out the caves and see if there's anything you can do. Without access to the sulfur, he'll lose what influence he has left with the men here. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. Take his key card. I tried hacking the locking mechanisms on the doors, but it seems the only way in is with one of these. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Fake medical records. Paranoia must be induced through nonviolent and non-chemical means in order for the experiment to be considered a success. Data corrupted. A group of technicians have been assigned to run the reactor. They are currently researching methods to improve the reactor efficiently. The reactor floor is fully staffed and completely self-sustained. The only access between the vault proper and the reactor level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. Currently, the password to open the passage is Hyacinth. Please change the password. It data corrupted. Has not been informed of the research being undertaken in the lower levels. Huh? I knew you were gonna sing that. How do I get under this desk? 
I wonder... Hmm... Well, let's do this quest first, because I don't like Cook, and I just hope the NCR honors their surrender. It would really suck if they didn't. Good choice in Fallout. I've never played any of the Fallout games, but everyone's like, play New Vegas! So I said, okay, and I don't regret it. I'm enjoying it a lot, actually. Uh, I think it's interesting that this vault has two overseer's offices. Like, what's up with that? You know what I mean? Actually, you know what? Let me take that Radex, too. I'll be helpful. Hmm. And me, Ghost! Hello! Thank you so much for raiding! How are you? Welcome, raiders! How's it going? Blue sector? Prim's got some new sheriff watching over the town. Welcome, user. A message from the Overseer. Greetings, residents. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. I've been reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us, one of the reds pretending to be a blue. They are using the bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. They talked about paranoia in the overseer's terminal. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the red's hallway. I believe it is in Morse code. When I can tell it's an SOS. Why would this vault want to study people's paranoia? Message from the Overseer. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water... That's the same one. I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I've seen the guards bringing her meals. I don't think she ever leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night, too. I wonder what she's hiding. I've been working with a friend. He's been trying to hack into the doc's computer, and so far we haven't had much luck. It took some convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found on the doc's computer. He was right. I wouldn't like it. The patient files looked like... Those from an asylum, the patient's names were all in code, but some of them seemed to fit the people around us. But they can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that, but it must be true. It explains the doctor's behavior and the bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be that doctor. Maybe she's drugging us. I need to get into that office. Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened. Maybe I'm just trapped in my head. That is deeply depressing. It took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. I found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us, to make us forget. We're just pawns in her sick game. We confronted the doctor today. She refused to give us any information. We were thrown out of the clinic, with some of us quite literally. We tried talking to the overseer, but acted as if he didn't know anything about it. I don't believe him. I don't trust him. I don't trust any of them. Ugh, vault tech is so weird. Because all of this is junk data, too. None of this is functionally useful. Um... Is this the same message? Yeah. I couldn't sleep a few nights ago, so I stayed up reading. Around 1.30 in the morning, the vent above my bed began to push out more air than usual. It lasted for about five minutes and turned off. I did not think much about it at the time, but I had trouble falling asleep again last night. Once again, around 1.30 a.m., the vents turned off for about five minutes. Oh, turned on and then turned off. I've been getting headaches. I think someone's poisoning us. I've been up every night this week and night after that. An extra boost of air comes through the vents. It lasts for about five minutes and then turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors. He said he noticed the same thing in his room as well. We made a report to the maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly and that there was nothing to worry about. I don't believe him. Maybe he's in on it. So... This whole... Vault is just... All about... Encouraging paranoia? Were these actual patients who were mentally unwell? Because that's deeply messed up. So hello! Um... I'm in a vault that is very suspicious. 
Hold on. I want to go see if the other... Um... Overseer's office had a terminal worth reading. Let me also make a save. Prim's got some new sheriff watching over the town now. This is the cafeteria. Where's that overseer office? That's one of them. This is the other. Oh, this console doesn't work. Weird. Cool bold, hello. I need a red sector key. So this vault was divided in two. Hi. Been here, right? Yeah. Do you not know about a very messed up vault that isn't in any of games? I don't want to know. <laughs> if it's bad and it's not in the games, what does that mean? I'm scared. <laughs> um, what the hell? What the hell? <gasps> oh, it's, a, uh, it's a lizard. Why are you down here, mister? Oh, my limbs hurt. Why do my limbs hurt? Uh, let's take a doctor's bag. Why are there fire geckos down here? How did they get down here? How did any of this happen? Um... more monsters down here, too. Terminal. Hmm. I think they're in my head. Sometimes I hear thoughts not my own. I think the Reds have done something to the intercom system, rigged it somehow to broadcast into our brains. What does it mean? Why was there a blue star under my bottle cap? Oh, no! Are the Reds behind this? Is this part of their mind control? They must be making me see things now. Things that shouldn't be there. The star shouldn't be there. Why do I see a star? It won't go away. No matter how many times I close my eyes, it won't go away. It's not your fault. Aw, oh, buddy. It's not your fault. It's just like that. Ooh. Floor safe. Aw. Yeah, me too. No, open the door. Yeesh. Oh, that's a hole. That's the sulfur caves? I don't want to go down there. I bet the other guy has the red sector key card. I don't know if I can get it from him. Ooh. I saw the Red's Overseer walking around on our floor last night. He looked like he was searching for something and he was mumbling to himself. I saw one of the guys in the mess hall pull a bottle cap off of Sunset Sars Barilla and then run to his room. I knew he was hiding something, so I broke into his room when he wasn't there and saw the bottle cap. It had a blue star. Oh, sorry. Hold on. It had a blue star underneath it. I think he's been marked for something, but I can't figure out what. All I know is I want that bottle cap. Whoa, how did you get ammo in here? Harmonica? That's fun. Um. Hmm. Alright, I have to go investigate those sulfur caves, don't I? Which I super de duper don't want to do. Let me go to the other side of this. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. Wait, did I actually explore all this already? No, I didn't go down this hallway. This is where I haven't been. Oh, thank you. Let me save real quick. Alrighty, let's see. 
Have I seen... Have I read this? Oh, wait. No, I think I have seen everything in here, then. I have. Okay, never mind. Let's go hop down the spooky hole, I here guess. Oh, no. There's another monster. Oh, but I can't get there. All right, well... Oh, yeesh. Let me refresh. Reload. Ah! I wonder if I can get under that overseer's desk. Because I said they were doing something else. Right? In addition to whatever this vault was doing, that overseer's log was like, get under the desk, that's where the real stuff is, and I wonder how to do that. Or is this that? And it was just a different way in. The others keep telling me not to worry, but I feel it sometimes. I think there's something in here with us. I can always hear weird noises coming from above my room. Oh, were they hearing the sulfur, maybe? Maybe... Huh. It's a dog. Night Stalker. It's a bad dog. Oh, those are like the lizard dogs. I've dealt with those before. Wait. Overseer's office. Alright, let's do some hacker dog. I think there's only the one. Here, Juana! Disengage lock. Let's find out what the heck I'm doing. Oh! Oh, um... Let's just go all in on energy weapons, I guess. Where the hell is this? Hello? Oh, hey! It's, I was right. Okay, so this connects down here. But then... What's... All this? Oh, I'm wrong. It's not mad at me until I shoot it. Whoops. I'm sorry. I do know about the Gary vault. That's like the only vault I knew about before playing this game. So did the overseers just come to hang out down here? I think the overseers... used this as like a hangout joint or something. I only know about the Gary Vault because my brother would reference it, and I didn't know what it meant, so I looked it up on YouTube. <laughs> and he would do it to freak me out, he'd be like, Gary, and I'd be like, I don't know what this means, but I don't like it. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. Barnacles. Thanks, Arcade. What's the Gary Vault? They basically cloned one guy. And, like, the clones were so degraded that all they could say was their name, I think? Something like that. It was very sad. What a shame. Bam! Bam, 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 bam
blam, blam, blam. Man, Arcade's a good shot for a doctor. Oh yeah, the clones were also super violent. Yeah, I watched YouTube videos talking about it. Woo! God. <sighs> yeah, I had the animal friend perk and then forgot about it, so I kept being like, oh, I have to murder those, but now I don't. And I like that. I like being friend to animals. Am I? <gasps> I don't want to destroy the vault. That kills everyone in here. I only want to destroy the caves. Oh, my explosive skill is bad. Uh, I respect wrong. Even with a book. Even with a skill book, I won't clear that that skill check of 60. I'll have to come back. Dang it. Aw, oh, man. Uh, I, like, just leveled up when I hacked into that overseer office, too. Do I have an autosave? No. All right. Well, I'll just go all in on explosives for the next few level ups, and then we'll have to come back and finish this. I'm just going to grab another quest just so I can find my way out of here. Because this cavern is hard to navigate. Oh. Hold on, I might be able to make my way out of here. I can get out through the overseer's office, which would be pretty cool. It'll save a lot of double backing. Uh, this way. This way. This way. No. Where was that overseer office? Here it is. Right? I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Found it. Found it, found it, found it. Because I'm so smart. Um. Yeah, what do you want? No. I wonder if I can get a key card from the other guy. Let's see. Hey. Have you wiped out those geckos yet? Oh. He had a, yeah, I did. Good. Hey, I got another job for you if you're interested. Sure, what do you need done? I want you to head to Red Rock Canyon north of here. Find Papa Khan and ask him if he'd allow the powder gangers to join up. Why do you want to join the Great Khans? There aren't enough of us here to make a real impact on the NCR. And the Khans probably hate the NCR more than we do. Strength in numbers, they say. So will you talk to Papa Khan on our behalf? No. I don't... Powder Gangers, merciful thug. Despite your reputation as a thug, you are known to occasionally show a charitable side. I don't want them to be my friend. I just murdered your leader. Wait. Are they forgetting the part where I murdered Eddie? I guess they don't care. <laughs> Works for me. All right, let's go back to the clinic because everyone was talking about the you doctor in the clinic and I would be interested in seeing. Is there anything I'm missing in here? Take a stim pack. Patient six five eight five six four five. Male, age thirty four. Patient brought in by the police. This is the ninth occurrence of such, and we are now seeking extended resident for the patient within our facility. So was this meant to be some kind of mental health vault ward? Oh, here's another patient file. Male, age thirty one. 
168865 often misinterprets others' actions as hostile. He perceives friendly interactions with nurses as patronizing. We've also noticed that the longer other patients remain in contact with 1687865, the more readily they are to act aggressively towards him due to the defensive nature, thus in reinforcing their perceived hostility. So, was this just some kind of misguided mental health clinic situation? There's another patient file. Male, age 27. Patient brought in by police. Patient claims to be hearing voices taunting him. Patient claimed that he at one point believed those voices were coming from his grandfather's radio. The patient now believes that the voices are coming from within himself and he is eager for help. That's just sad. These people were seeking medical assistance and vault Tech was like, but what if we did bad science about it? That's very sad. Um, patient file. Male age 22, patient came to use claiming to, I think came to us claiming to be insane. Patient claimed he would often get the feeling of being, quote, outside himself. This was feeling was so intense that it would cause the patient to be off balance during episodes. Navigation through clinic often difficult for him to achieve without causing accidents. But why were the police bringing patients into a vault? I feel like the there's got to be more happening here. Why are there two overseer offices? This place does not add up. It's so weird. How do I get a red sector key? Hmm? Here's the way out, at least. There's even a fan theory about vault -Tec starting the war in the first place. I mean, hey, all their tech suddenly gets a lot more useful if there's actually a war to hide from. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I can't do this until I make my, um, wait, where did my quest go? Hold on, I had a quest for the Vault 19. Where did it go? What the hell? Oh, I completed it with cook? How? Huh? Telling him I killed geckos? Oh, well, I'm glad I caught that. Yeesh. That... Oh, so he can get at the sulfur? Oh. Okay, so they both are tied to this quest. I did not understand that. Whoops. <laughs> that helps. Okay, all right. That makes more sense. I do need, however, to leave because <laughs> my explosives isn't high enough. I have explosives books that'll give me a plus 20. So as long as I can level up my explosives to 40, which will take, what, two level ups? It's currently at 17. Maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, this was the save before that, because I saved before I talked to him, and I'm so glad I did. <laughs> All right, y'all. What is the next DLC in terms of release order? Was it Old World Blues? Or was it... Um, Old World Blues. Old World Blues is the Midnight Science Fiction feature one, right? Cool. Midnight's the next. All right, cool. Um, let me stop by Novak so I can make sure I don't have excess weight. Um... Because I have a feeling this might be another situation where I'm going to be told, you can only have so much weight allotted because you're going to get a bunch of new stuff. So let me go dump some things. Oh. Is this my room? It is. I just walked in it really fast. And I didn't think it was mine for a second. Um, I don't need the pistol. 
Don't need the 10 millimeter. Um. Oh, I don't need science plus five anymore. I don't need the powder ganger outfit. Cool, let's go sell some stuff. Oh, there's no limit? Nice. And then, let's go sell some junk while I have a chance. And let me talk to Tar let me try to talk to Arcade one more time. Oh, wait, going to McCarran will also trigger Arcade, right? Let's do that real fast. Welcome back. I want to sell stuff. Sure thing. Woo. Have no. a look. Um, five millimeter and five point six millimeter ammo. Uh, da 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 Um. Cool. Thank you. Come Your companions can't come with you. Got it. Uh, okay, so we're gonna... Uh, let's stop by Fort uh, Camp McCarran real quick. That's around here. Isn't it? Am I a dingus? Was Camp McCarran around? No, it's down here. It's by El Rey. That's right. I'm wrong. I wasn't falling. Uh, there we go. The ego science guy. Which ego science guy? Oh, fantastic. I accidentally murdered him. I guess it really wasn't an accident if we're being totally honest, but... <laughs> I did maybe do some light whoopsie doodle shots to the head. Oops. <laughs> there are 122 known vaults. Of all of those, only 17 were controlled. Only 17? Huh? Why, why have control vaults at all? I hate capitalism. Why not just make all vaults good? The guy who sent you the plant vault? Talk to him. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic had a explosive encounter with Clara leading to a workplace incident. <laughs> His office was over here with the cool scientist who I like hey. a lot more. Hey, wait, where'd he go? There you are. Yes. Hildern. Something else you What's your opinion of Williams? Williams is an admirable researcher. If she wasn't, I'd have terminated her contract. And she'd be begging for work from my former employers. Why terminate her contract? Williams has a tendency to feel before she thinks. Not in the lab, but everywhere else. All that humans feel, you dingus. She kept her concerns to herself, but she doesn't. Not in front of her peers, not even with contractors like yourself. God forbid a scientist has kind of a conscience. She blah, blah, blah. convinced my last contractor to quit. Same way she tried with you. Probably didn't tell you that, did she? You're so, your head is so far up your butt. You're seeing out of your own mouth with your eyeballs. My God. Uh, you don't always work for OSI? No, I, no. The OSI hasn't been around for very long. I received my training elsewhere. So who did train you? Before the bombs, I might have studied at any number of colleges, universities. They gave a man a chance to advance himself, or so I've heard. But after the bombs, until a few years ago, anyone with half a brain had one choice, the followers of the apocalypse. Didn't matter if you agreed with them or not. You either played along or you were turned away. What do the followers believe? Knowledge for knowledge's sake. A society of equals. They purport to be intelligent people, and then they spout this old world dogma. Doesn't sound like a good place for a person of ambition. I'm sorry, what is bad about wanting to make sure everyone has a chance? This guy sucks. <laughs> exactly right. 
Imagine what the followers could have accomplished if they were properly motivated. If they had a unified Motivated purpose. by what, my Those guy? Who founded the OSI. We wanted to put our knowledge to work, and we have to some degree. But the execs at OSI Central, they're still bound to the old ideas, society of equals and all that. There's still too little direction. If I can make real breakthroughs here, show the president what can be done when junior researchers are kept in line, kept focused on task. Who knows? Maybe I'll be sitting in OSI Central in a few years' time, and there'll be no more coddling of free spirits like our friend Williams. You suck. Hey, Arcade. Hey, Arcade. Did I accidentally tell him to wait somewhere? There you are. Hildern is a good example of big picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on large scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need become numbers and a ledger. I'm so with you, my dude. Good thing there's still people like you around. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around here. I just hope the followers can make a difference in the long run. What's up? You want me? You won't tell me anything else about yourself. Why are you so tight-lipped? Jeez. Arcade don't want to tell me nothing. To be fair, the followers don't exactly have a long-term plan. That is true. That is, I think, a fair criticism. But in my mind, it's like... At the very least, at least they're doing something. You know? I think what would be ideal is if they took the time to also, like... Uh, what's a good word for it? Um, it'd what's be up? good if they also took the time to, like, establish, like, some kind of university, right? Like, it's all very sort of cobbled together, but if they actually said, like, we're gonna set some roots down and create, like, an actual institution, I don't know if it actually exists, but... Oh, I thought my charm... Go to the Lucky 38 for now. Uh, back... And I love you, Eddie, but it's time to go. Go home. Bye. Okie dokie. So, we're going to start this next week. Um, I was seeing what you were saying, O'Malley, and I was thinking, and I was like, you know what? This is going to be a lot to start right now. Um, so next week, we are going to check out Old World Blues, and I will probably keep sort of finishing up the rest of the DLC, and then we'll get into the end game. Y'all, I've been playing this for like four months because <laughs> I only really play it on weekends but I'm having so much fun and I'm so excited to see what's next because everyone keeps saying that these next two DLC are their favorites so I'm like real I'm real excited thank you all so much for joining me today I'm really having fun with this playthrough and I can't wait to see what's next